Yeah. What's going on, man? Shame on you. We only got one couch today. <laughs> bro, AD, get we the fuck out We doing bad, on, man. We broke. Bro. <laughs> It's crumbling. It's crumbling. This shit is crumbling to the ground. Mics, man. No, we don't. Oh. Hey, D, move, bro. A failure. Bro, get the fuck over there. Why you put your arm on me? You want me to leave? I do want. Okay, never mind then. Bro, our thighs are also rubbing against each other. My leg is definitely touching your leg. Pause. I feel Pause. like the other dude. Damn. Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. I know. I ain't like the dude. Move it. I just got what you said too. <laughs> hey, those shoes are nice. Thanks, bro. Yeah, they are. You're hey, not wearing those. Bro, I got a whole bunch of shoes I ain't never put on, man. Yeah. Guess how, much, guess how much it was taxing for these motherfuckers? 500? Mm -hmm. No, more. 800? Almost. 750? Nine. Nine? Nine? Yeah. What shoes are these? Shit. Look, they're like two different shoes. Bro. But they're the same pair. Did y'all see that? Uh, y'all see these motherfuckers? Look, you got the one like that, and you got the one like that. Oh, did y'all see that, 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 uh, damn, where is that shit? I don't know if that shit is in, uh, Bali. It wasn't in Bali. It was in fucking, where the fuck is El, El Chapo from? Not El Chapo from here. Col what are you talking about? El Chapo's from Mexico. El Chapo, Pablo Escobar. Colombia. He's from Colombia. Yeah. Medellin. 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 That's Colombia. Yeah. Yeah, that's Colombia. Medellin. No, they got a two-story fucking building right now with all fake shoes. It's a store. I mean, like, everybody oh, got I've a store. Oh, I've seen that shit on TikTok before. Yeah, everybody sell the fake shoes. I was like, damn, I'm finna go with that shit. <laughs> they got them B-grades. I'm finna go, dog. And you know what's crazy? That at this point, you can't even, you can't even tell anymore. Mm-mm. What? Oh, the shoes? Would you wear some fake shoes if you couldn't tell? But you knew, like, these is fake. I'm wearing them. Fuck I'm it. fuck around and fuck with them. Give them to me. That's how I used to be back in the day. Because who, who gonna tell me something? Who gonna tell me something? Back, as long hey, as you don't try to trade them in, you good. Back in the day, the Mexican homies used to have the, the motherfucking Air Forces, thirty-five dollars, bro. The fake ones, fake Air Forces. Mm -hmm. But that's technically just white shoes, so you can't even really tell. No, nah, but you know, them motherfuckers when they when they turn, <laughs> they turn, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> hey, so one of the homies gave me them bitches. They was like super white, right? Mm -hmm. And then it was like a little bit of platform. It was like and it wasn't regular. It was like a little bit higher. And I was like, damn, this all you got? The bitches was, they look stupid fake, cuz. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna buy these them bitches. Ones, you, got, to go to this hey, party. you got three wares with them motherfuckers. After that, they gonna turn, what? them motherfuckers gonna turn yellow, orange. But you gotta think about it, if you go to the club, right, it's hella dark. Nobody don't care. Nobody don't give a fuck. Man, listen, when you balling on a budget, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Gotta do. I done had hella fake Louis Vuitton belts and You didn't order Gucci Ubers around and, the block. Huh? Remember you told me the story? Nigga, like, oh, nigga, yeah, me and OT, nigga, got the hoodies on, heads down, and where Nissan. Going, where was you going to get your uh, fake Louis belts? Shout out Joe Moses. We had a we, we, No, he shout out Joe Moses. Shout out Joe, Joe Moses. Leave Joe on. Moses out of this. That's my guy. You nah, feel me? That's big bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Leave him out of this. Listen, listen. You got your own fake belt by yourself, no, nigga. Look, shout out to Joe Moses. He know what I'm talking about. <laughs> back, back in the AOB days, the nigga was like, hey, look, we're going to get you fly. I was like, all right. He took us to this one place, nigga. The nigga had a whole thing of them. I know what you're talking about. Those are my people, man. If you're in the downtown alleys, make sure you support the motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my people. No cap. Hey, at the time, listen. No, you no. knew that motherfucker was fake. Hey, if you need, if you need some fake shit right now that looks exactly like the real shit, give me a call. I'm gonna send you to my guy. You knew that shit was fake, but you wore that shit with a badge of honor, bro. And you know, like, you get your first like belt because you make sure like. You showing that motherfucker, you feel me? So they can see the buckle. So you make it look like you doing something. Nigga, I wasn't tucking it, but you know like how you can, you know how you can like, nigga was doing this. You gotta, you gotta roll it up a little bit. Oh, like this, like you doing this one? You gotta roll it up a little bit. You like this a little bit, man? Yeah, that's Hey, that fucked up that you put Joe Mother in there. You could've just, you could've just went down a little. We got money now, so it don't matter. Nah, fuck all We can laugh about that shit now. He can still be doing it. No, he ain't doing it now. You don't know that? No, JM, he got a chili now. Hey, them belts. I don't know. But bro. If I had chili, I'd still be doing it. Fuck it. I have, I have a fucking Louis belt, a real one, just like the fake one that I bought, bro. You really can't tell the difference, bro. I don't even wear the motherfucker. That shit is just sitting in the closet. The same exact kind. But there's one way that you could tell, just like the Air Forces. 
When that wear and tear start happening, it don't wear and tear like no Louis. No, that you can't, wear and tear. No, you can't say that. That motherfucking belt starts tearing in half and shit. Nah, nah, yeah, nah, I didn't have a belt. You can't say that. You can't say that because they making the they making the quality goods from the same factory, same machine. I'm talking about the shit I had. All the shit. The shit I had? Yeah, yeah, your Louis belt down there tearing half. <laughs> oh, it's like, look, I ain't even gonna I ain't gonna say who gave it to me though, but Nah, nah, nah. No, 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 listen. Nah, motherfucker, you took Joe Moses down with you. Take down down the motherfucker. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> bro, Joe that, Moses, bro. Me and T-Rail did not say that you used listen, to buy fake Louis. Those it was get that out the <laughs> he gonna laugh about it. This is humbling times, bro. We okay. on to come up trying to make it look like we doing something. I put OT in that shit too. OT had a fake ass chain. <laughs> you feel me? Shout out to OT. Man, you know what? Man, shit, next time me and TRL see OT, we're going to bring out the diamond test. No, no, no. Oh, now? No, now that motherfucker, that motherfucker like 200. No. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where my diamond test? That's a, uh, what's, what's, what's the name? I don't give a fuck. Uh, 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 Eliante. Yeah, yeah, that's different. Is that right? He got yeah, caught yeah, yeah. too doing some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got caught doing some shit too. I remember. So who gave you a gift? <laughs> No, no, I'm talking about back in the day. No, somebody gave bro, you a gift. Back in the day, everybody <laughs> had fake chains, bro. Everybody had fake all Who's this everybody? shit, bro. Who's everybody? Bro, do you see? <laughs> bro, look at the way rappers was wearing chains back then, bro. Oh, you gotta Lord. think about it. Look at how everybody had these big ass chains, and if they wasn't fake, why are you into real lucky eyes? I feel like you guys have uh, have a couple artists that you get all. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. My nigga, look at the time like when T Pain came out with the big oh, ass chain. Oh, 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 okay. I don't know T Pain shit was fake, <laughs> but I'm saying that that era when everybody had the big ass long gold chains, bro, okay. and they had them pieces, bro. You get what I'm saying? Yes, no, sir. I think I think Cameron's and Jay Z's and their shit was real. No, of course Jay Z and them shit was real. Them niggas was already on. We talking about young niggas, like bro? who? Like who? What you mean? Like who? I ain't throwing nobody else under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you gotta throw. You gotta have some fake chains in there. Rick Ross but admitted. Then, Mick, Rick Ross admitted a few times that he has stage jury. A lot of people didn't have stage jury before. I think Busta Rhymes has stage jury. A, a lot. Everybody, of everybody I mean, did that it, shit. It makes it makes sense though, dog. Because niggas out here because, is just doing dumb shit, and this is what because I get what you're saying. Anyway. Nobody's ever gonna question the fact that, like, like an Anthony. Like he said, his fake was his, his. Yeah, all his jewelry is fake. But now, like, now, now that I know jewelry, and I I can tell and I can feel like the weight and stuff like that. When I see people out now, I know like, yeah, like them 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 big ass Cubans people be having on. Them motherfuckers be fake as hell. A lot of people, especially in Hollywood and shit. That's hilarious. Yeah. But I definitely. But I know like, you too grown to be having that shit like that now. Feel me? You do that I mean, shit when I mean, you're 19, I, 20 years old. That shit cool. I mean, you know what's crazy? I feel like as an adult, it's more like respected than it is for a kid. Like if a, like not a kid, but like somebody younger. Like if they have a fake chain, they're gonna be like, "Oh, you fake wearing motherfucker." As an adult, if you got a fake chain, they're gonna be like, "Oh, that's cool. We don't give a fuck." Like we know what nah. it really is. You don't think so? What do you think? Because the older you get, it's like, what are you? What are you representing? What are you perpetrating? Like, I can understand you. You know, as a young or like a young person, you like, okay, you want people to think that you cool when you doing something to help get your music career to another level. Speaking of, okay, 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 okay. you older. Okay, are we talking about just artists? Or are we talking about just the general? Like the regular, not in, and for not well, regular in a bad way. Well, I'm, I'm saying like right now, right, right now, right. For let's say I'm in high school and mm -hmm. I'm wearing the Louis Bell, right. Mm -hmm. And somebody goes like, "That shit is fake." It's more embarrassing that as an adult right now, if I buy a fucking Louis bag and I bring it over here and T-Rail finds out it's fake, it's not gonna come to his head as much as it will to another kid telling another kid that his shit is fake. I disagree, bro, because there's a lot of children. What what average child has enough money to pay for a real Louis Vuitton bill? No, no, but, but, but that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is if a kid does wear a fake, I mean, now kids are just rocking Louis belts and everything out of this. So right now in this era, for, okay, back in, when I was in high school, if I already came with a Louis belt, somebody would have been like, that motherfucker fake. Yeah, because you were poor. I was poor, exactly. <laughs> what I'm saying, the kids now, if a kid were to have a Louis belt, it, people aren't going to like really question it. But if they do and they find out it's fake, it's a little more traumatizing. But I, but and then if right now I come with a fake chain, you find out, you're not going to give a fuck. Nah. But no, if I go, I, I'm going to give a fuck. You want to know why? <laughs> why? I'm going to ask you, you're doing well in life. What do you need to buy a fake chain for? Because what if I'm financially just want to be smart about certain shit? What then, what, why? Okay, what's the purpose of buying a fake one? You're trying to give off some type of image. 
Right? Maybe he just want to uh, accessorize and have jewelry on. Maybe he don't want the real diamonds. Now that sounds gay. That's the you just want to accessorize and shit. No, nigga. <laughs> no, that don't sound gay. That sounds gay. When well, you see ASAP Rocky and he had on all them rings, he's accessorizing. Who seen right? ASAP Rocky? You. <laughs> <laughs> you seen ASAP Rocky, nigga? Just, what are you talking about? Yeah, when you seen him, nigga, he called me with him on the phone. He got all the shit on his fingers. He accessorizing. He just wanted to say that shit. I did. You see <laughs> I tried to shit on nigga. But, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, though. Right? Rocky, man. <laughs> shout out to Rocky. He was yeah. a big part of my... Bro, that nigga cool as hell, bro. Bro, he was a big part of my oh, shut up. teenage life. I'm sucking his dick now. I'm not sucking his cock. Yes, what, you, is, what, right? you want me to FaceTime him? Can you FaceTime him? He probably going to answer. He <laughs> gonna... <laughs> I just got his number, bro. I don't want to burn it out. <laughs> hey, I know like yesterday. Yesterday, I was on a deep dive of like my old music, and it was like Rocky fucking... Q, and then I was watching the interviews, the interview came back out, and I was like, damn, that was a crazy fucking era. Like, the Mac Miller, the Rockies, I was like, that was a, that was a really good time, because I because everybody was kind of cool with each other. Everybody was cool with each other, still cool with each other, I think. Oh, Ooh. damn, damn, he, hey, he, fuck, he fuck with you, too. Who? They said Rocky. Man, fuck you. I swear. He knows who I am? Yes. Why you know, bro, don't do that to me right now. Nigga, look, no, no, first of all, look, 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 look. T-Rail ran into him first. When he was at the mall? I was at, um... The real real or some shit like that. I think what I did he call you? He was like, hey, T-Real. Oh, God. And then what happened? And I walked up to him, nigga. And he was like, what's up? We was talking and shit, and, you know. And he was like, hey, yeah, tell everybody I said what's up, nigga. And then tell uh, AD, nigga, you better stop fucking with that boy China Mac. He was saying shit like He, he tapped knows. in, bro. He said he knew I you said too. I this before. Rocky. Hey, look. Oh. Hey, that was gay. You know what I'm saying? That's what my you, boy. You Why are you biting your lip? I'm not yeah, biting my lip. I'm ex, I'm I'm expressing <laughs> my doing? my New York face. Yeah. I'm not trying to rizz up Rocky. Rizzy, man. First of all, Rocky was the one fighting and fighting on semen in the bathroom, man. He's, he's sleeping on semen and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I records. I like <laughs> so that mean? But Rocky was a full bro. When Hands on the Wheels came out, I thought I could drive, bitch. I didn't know how to drive. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't even know the metaphor towards hands on the wheel. Don't, never, don't ever bite your lip at another grown man again, bro. Oh, no. Oh, bro. no. We ain't calling on FaceTime, man. You got to nope. see him for yourself. Hey, that shit was funny, though. Oh, I thought Rocky texted you. I was about to be like, what'd he say? No, we're not lying. <laughs> hey, we had, I'm at dinner, bro, and I look over to the right, and I see a nigga just staring like, I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga looking at me, cuz? Kind of like with his, he didn't have a suit on, but he had like some tied vest. Damn tied vest. And I'm like, who the fuck is just looking at me, cuz? And it's cuz. And he come walk over, bro. He just chopping up with us and shit like that. I was like, damn, cuz really tapped in. Niggas really be watching us like that. Can't that, say what he actually said. I ain't gonna say what he actually said. He ain't said. gonna big you up, you bitch. <laughs> wait, wait, are you joking right now? <laughs> bro, don't play with my feelings, bro. I'm serious. I don't care about a lot of things. Like, like, I ain't gonna lie. I, like, if I'm gonna keep it a bug, I never asked nobody for a photo, but when, is, bro. when Q was here, I had to ask him for one. I ain't gonna lie, I flexed on my high school group chat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I was drunk, hey. I would've been sober like, oh, what the hell we got? Hey, 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 I ain't gonna lie, I flexed on my high school group chat bad. I said, <laughs> yeah, bitch. And then when Q followed me, I flexed bad again. I was, I was flexing. On, bro, I swear to God, I was talking so much shit. I was like, fuck you, you fucking bitch ass motherfuckers. I was just talking bad shit. <laughs> oh, six, six. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't, I, why don't I have one of those? <laughs> Where was you at that day? What, what, you what day was that? That was the... Uh, that was the... Uh, you wasn't invited, you know? I wasn't invited, first of all. You was invited, dog. Which one? To the one in, in, in the... Oh, yeah, the Warner Brothers studio when we did that part. Bro, nobody ever You was told. not invited. You didn't invite nobody, You didn't invite though. nobody but six. I didn't invite y'all. No, no you, you didn't. Did nigga, you liar. <laughs> what? <laughs> This nigga six was there? Yeah, because he works yeah, for work on Fish. He works back on Fish. Who you fucking idiot? You no. didn't know. Uh, see, y'all. That nigga said, I'm going to get my first million alone. <laughs> but, yeah. We never got invited. No, 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 no. Actually, actually, you know what he did? You know what he did? He flexed on the, on the, on the, on the group text. He's like, yeah, bro, I'm a Warner Brother. I'm going to try in a little bit. And then we're all right, bro. Good shit. <laughs> Okay, you wait. You nigga lying, dog. Yeah, back to Ace. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Fuck that. That's what Pun did the other day. I ain't gonna tell you the artist that he was. Oh, no, no, we know, but yes. yes. Hey, hey, that's. Hey, he's a big You know, shit. Pun is in a good. He, he's not in a good mood for no reason. Hey, so he's talking about good morning, everybody. <laughs> so I already know that's the setup. I'm yeah. like, shut your bitch ass up. 
Oh, too bad your day's going bad. I'm, I'm, on, the, I'm on the phone with this person. <laughs> on a Zoom call, on a Zoom on call. On a Zoom call with a legendary rapper. <laughs> I ain't going to say who it is. Y'all can guess. I looked at the recipients. Huh? It ain't Jay-Z, but it's close. Yeah, I looked at the recipients. Like, real, no, but it was funny because Pun usually be like, What's up, motherfucker? But he was like, hey, good morning, everybody. Make sure you get up and get your bread. You know what I'm saying? We're like, <laughs> like what? And then, and then, and then, and then AD was like, somebody to say hey, get your bread, oh ass niggas. And then AD was like, show bitch ass up. And then he just sent back a screenshot. <laughs> and everybody was like, all right. That's what we're doing today, huh? They can still talk and shit. Like, they got 50 recipients and on one call about some bullshit. Everybody fired. Wait, so what did Rocky say about me? <laughs> oh, come on, man. We moving on, bro. Why are we moving he on from he, this conversation? No, he, said he, he said he fuck with you, dog. He fuck with you, bro. He All right, like, cool. He, yeah. like, he like what we got going on, bro. Yeah, he like, I fuck with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Here got my number. Test, stay, tap, stay tapped in. Yeah. And it's really his number. Yeah. It's really <laughs> him. Can he do a peso part two? I definitely two? text him. I got a podcast. You can come on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I got his little podcast. <laughs> he definitely ain't coming. Does Rihanna have any sisters? Hmm. I think she does, actually. No, no, that's for you. That wasn't for me. Oh, yeah, that's for me. <laughs> <He's a> Jackson, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn, but what if Rocky did a peso part two? If you could put four artists to do a collaborated album right now, Tyrell, oh, I'm over this conversation. Who is Candy? To put an album together. And first of all, this is a great conversation because we're about to go straight to a whole other I know, I'm just battle. Playing. Who would it be, Tyrell? Right now. They battling. They battling each other. The niggas right, I don't want, and, 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 the niggas and, and, I don't want to and, do and, and, an you know album what? You know what? with each other. They battling okay, each well, other right now. All right, fuck it. Let's have this conversation they first. They split up. Because I love this part of hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? And I don't love hip-hop much. We know this, right? Yeah. But I like the competition. <laughs> and I want to put it out there right now. I am definitely Team Drake. Six, are you with me He's or no? Hoe. You're not with me? You okay. a hoe. Why am I a hoe? You from the West Coast, nigga. I'm from the West Coast. You a sellout, nigga. You only Team Kendrick because he... He up blue 89 with such a great album. No, because he's from Compton, nigga, and he's an incredible artist. No, you know, I'm not taking nothing away from Kendrick. Just from my part of my generation and what I I'm a lover boy, you feel me? I fuck with Drake. You a sellout, bro. And Tyrell, you should be part of Team Drake too. Why? Because you were part of the Young Money team. And you're switching up. No, I'm not switching up. I'm going with my partner. The nigga I really actually started and started seeing recording music and starting this shit. I seen that. I seen yes, that process. Nigga. God bullshit. damn, bro, is that really your head? God damn, man, good man. Thank God for turkey, nigga. Oh, man, hey, that shit gotta be. Fake. Yeah, that's fake. But look, <laughs> <laughs> the nigga like Mega Mind, girl. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> I would have slapped him. Hey, bro, is that hey, really not? No, nah, no nah. I'm gonna tell y'all why right now. <laughs> nah, that shit definitely <laughs> fake, right? Me and me and me and, me and Kendrick nah, got that the same shit birthday. Ain't fake. <laughs> Me and Kendrick got the same birthday, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dog. Nah, nah, but you know what? It's a wobbler. Because, yes, I, you know me, I love the West Coast. But I'm like, damn, Drake. Drake was like, you feel me? Drake was a big ass part of my fucking like, childhood. And to this day, he's like a big part of fucking. And the only reason I'm probably not the biggest Kendrick fan is because to me, it's about like, you, like, and he's consistent when he does drop, right? But he just doesn't drop often for me to be. They always think about how much of a great he is, which we know he's great. But with Drake, I'm constantly reminded why he's so fucking he's amazing. A hoe. Yeah. <laughs> why am I a hoe? I mean, you, you, I mean, you can't be constantly. I mean, that's great. You constantly reminded his music still sounds good. You still gonna bump? You still you still bumping Drake every album like that comes out? Every album that comes out, I'm listening to Drake. I'm listening so to Drake. Hey, and you so know what's crazy? 21, so 21 hey, and Drake, you was banging that shit, nigga. Bum. You, you know what? You know what? I. Um, I, I like I like the low key songs of Drake, like March 14 and shit like that. When he talks about, I like I like music like that. But I that's love always, his rap and shit. Yeah, yeah, but that's always been my type of music. I like when like like the doms, like people be chill. Like one time, for let they ask me, would you prefer going to a Kendrick uh, uh, um, concert or a dom? And I was like, I, me preferably, I would prefer going to a dom concert, a dom Kennedy concert. Shout out dom. Okay. And she was like, why? And I'm like, that's just always been my type of music. Like I always. Like what you would say, like the mellow type shit, cruising. Like I'm like Mac Miller. People be like, "How the fuck do you like Mac Miller? You don't even fucking smoke weed. You don't skate." I'm Mac like, Miller's hard. And I'm, but I, what I'm saying is, there's a conversation with people I have with me. Like, ex example, like me being Latino, and you would say like, quote, like certain people would be like Chicano. I was like, that wasn't my type of music. I'm like, my type of music was like the Mac Millers, 
that was like Casey Veggies. When Life Changes came out, I was like, what the fuck? Uh, but Don't so feel if that's bad your, people, so if, if that's your no. excuse, then Kendrick Lamar, you should have more in common with Kendrick Lamar. He's from the city. You know what I'm saying? He's speaking the language. He's speaking our slang. Um, you're Hispanic, so he's definitely has some shit in there for the for his, sure, hundred percent. Yes, no, for no, no, that's for like the culture. So, so what are you talking about? But, like, but, but, and, and you like the mellow music, and yes. that's what he has. Do no, uh, but I, I don't think I, I do think, what you're saying. I think, no, do I, no. I, I, but I, no. and to your to your point, he's all of those things, but he's also very like. Lyrical, you gotta really pay attention and be a student of rap when you hear a like you can no. never take. So you yeah, can't you, digest the ball. Nigga, boom! No, 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 you could digest, and but I'm my knowledge to when the like some of the metaphors and the shit he be saying, I'm like, all right, if I don't catch up to somebody break it down, I'll be like, oh, bro, that's. And what I'm saying, I'm not saying it doesn't make great music, like, like fucking um, how to pimp a butterfly, amazing, right? Okay. But when I, and when I first heard it, it's a dope song, is is dope and shit like that. When when my high school teacher broke down, broke it down, I was like, damn, that's just even deeper than what I thought it was gonna be. When swimming pools came out, I was like, what the fuck. When all those songs, when all those songs came, I'm not knocking that. So I'm you need just, to simplify for your little brain. No, it's not that it has yeah, to be simple. stupid. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> how, how did that make something? See, there's no serious conversation here. Your teacher had to fucking. He broke down, bro. bro why your, as why a why kid, dumbass teacher. So you're telling me, hey, hey, hey six, since when you first that. heard yeah, how to pimp a butterfly, where did you understand it right away? My be brother, honest. My brother explained to me. You got to pass it Somebody explained it. I'm like. Our generation wasn't listening to fucking like like yes they were Kendrick Lamar he's he's one of the greatest I'm, I'm, to me would be in my top ten of all time what I'm saying is what I'm saying is a lot of the bars and shit is very in super duper intellectual and that's me giving him a compliment mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm not intellectual as well all I'm saying is that the music has not always like the damn album it wasn't my favorite thing that's that shit but I, but what that's I'm saying is what I'm saying is I respect it. Like section eight to me, like I was like section what? eighty, brother. Section eighty, sorry, section eighty. I was like, what the fuck? Like so, they just certain things, but to me, preferably, what I listen to more would be like a jury. I take it I, the way you talking. I take it like you really ain't really listening to Kendrick like that, and that's fine. That's my no. opinion. No, oh, that's okay. Do no, no. But I get what you look. I get what you're saying too, because when I used to listen to Lupe Fiasco, niggas be like, why you listen to Lupe Fiasco? You feel me? Food and liquor in the cool. Some of my top albums of all time and shit. And they got songs like Lil Weapons on there where you got it. It's it's more of a deep dive into hip hop and stuff. Yeah, which for which, somebody don't listen to hip hop like that, I can understand Kendrick is too up there for you. Like 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 do you understand everything Lil Bit Fiasco saying? No, but then I, I mean the rest. Maybe you of should the, listen to like Silento or somebody. But no, but Who? I under <laughs> Silento. Yeah, like watch Silent it. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Silent Out. Who's that? <laughs> Never mind, he in jail. I forgot. Watch okay, first with, of all, with, motherfucker. Watch me I don't listen to that either. Damn, did he get life? But my era. Oh, shit. Maybe not listen to this guy. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> what I'm saying is just my era, just simply, yes, Kendrick was part of that whole process. But, like, even if you were to ask me, would you go to a Kendrick or. I mean, and a, a School Boy Q concert. Let's say that concert, they are. Uh, Definitely choose Q over Kendrick. But do know what I'm saying is it's as clear as day that you're not into diving into hip hop. I think you're a casual listener. Yeah. Whatever they play on the radio and stuff like that, you'll fuck around with it. If it sounds good to you sonically, you'll fuck with it. You feel me? That Mac Miller was radio? Yeah, no, but, I, but I, he I, had no. a lot of he had like a lot of melodies was and tones radio? stuff like that. No. But the but the melodic sound and the sound that they got is kind of similar. No, if they had that, then they'll be on radio. No, that's not true. Radio don't have nothing to do with how your music sounds. You just said if they had the melodic sound of radio. Just because you make melodic you, music you, does you, not mean you're going to be on the radio. Radio is a business. Labels push radio music. If you're not with a big label, it doesn't matter what you sound like. You're not getting on the radio. Or it's going to be very hard for you to get on the radio. I think a lot of his music is digestible, though, and, and it's simplified. No, no, I, I, no, no I'm talking about Drake. Is. I'm just talking about Drake. In just, oh, in you mean Drake? Okay, okay, you're talking about You know, just for the masses, a lot of people can, you know, break it down, and it's for the bitches. Once you got the bitches on lock, you got it. Bro, Bro you know Drake I mean? is an overall pop star. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah. and, and, and Kendrick is a rapper, rapper. So, but, so, but, so but, you but calling you, him a pop star now, too? Drake so, is a pop star. Drake is a hip-hop Listen, the majority of artist. Drake's hits... Are not rap songs, bro. They're melodic songs. He has 
He has an Afro Beast type songs. He has all type of shit. I think like what? But that's just him being diverse. Let's not get the fact that he didn't get popping off rapping no, like listen, bars. Diversity aside, you can't take nothing away from Drake. But when we're talking about hip hop, Drake can rap his ass off. But most of his commercial success has not been rap songs like that. There's been a full range of music. His commercial success is from Little look Wayne. Up, look up, look He's up. from a Young Money. He had no, to start off look rapping. Up, look up Drake. Somebody switching to our side. Look up Drake's top ten <laughs> commercial hits. I think One Dance just hit like a crazy number on Spotify. No, 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 no. His singles doesn't doesn't equate to him being a pop star. You got to look I'm at his talking about body of work. Sonically, his top hits that he's dropped are talking about rap. Makes him a pop star. Work. What else? One Dance. It's working one dance rap songs. But does that make Answer him a pop star? Answer my fucking question. No, but does that make him a pop star? Bro, it's like Nicki Minaj, nigga, Starships. Is that no, a rap song? Does that make her not a rapper? She's still a rapper. So she's so she's but more. She's a, so but, you well then at that point you can say she's my more nigga. Pop Drake than compares Drake. Drake compares himself to Michael Jackson. What was Michael Jackson? As exactly, far as nigga. Hits, though, okay, fucking catch it. Okay, okay, okay. I ain't done, girl. Okay, but when look, I say, are pop, you mad? Listen, no, I'm not. <laughs> when I say pop star, bro, I'm not saying that to degrade somebody's hip hop abilities. That makes them larger than life. That means they can go to any genre, they can go anywhere on the world, and their music is accepted. That is a compliment. But we're no. talking about rapping, real rapping, bro. So you're gonna put a hip hop? You're gonna put hip hop under pop? And you're gonna tell me you're gonna sit here and tell me right now that that Nicki Minaj is a pop star more than she's a hip hop. She's a hip. What are Nicki Minaj's biggest hits? Does she their pop hits? I didn't ask you that though. I know they pop hits. I'm talking about her her actual her whole her whole shit okay, right now. So let me ask you something. Her whole no, shit. No 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 no. Hold on hold on. What is your favorite Nicki Minaj rap song? Monster. Are you thinking about it? I ain't thinking about nothing. I just said monster. It don't matter. It's just, it's no, no, no. Okay, number two then. No, two, two then. Since you a bar, number two. I didn't say the I rap was song. a bar. I didn't say I was a okay, bar. Okay, give, me, give me your favorite Nicki Minaj rap song, number two. Don't look at the list either. I can't even see the list. Give me number. Give me another I, one. I'm trying to figure it out, dog. Hold on. Exactly. Uh, you know, I'm bad with names and songs, and people know this. Sing the song yeah. then. Rap it. As people know this. People know this. I'm bad. You rap it. I'm bad with it. Rap it. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Which is the one where she's in the castle? <laughs> this one is not going to do this. Is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, he might got to feel. Why is no, it a pop song? Why was that a pop song? Because it's a pop beat. It's a chorus. It's a pop song. Well, you said a what? I don't give a fuck about the chorus. I got my heart in me. That's the way. Boom, 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 boom. That's the Okay, okay, okay. So when they're swinging and dollar sign, that mean that's a pop song then? They're singing in the courts. No, no, no let's no. I, I'm bad with songs. I would have to know here. the songs. I would have to know the songs. I would have to see the yeah. songs, dog. They're singing in it. It's I'm a chorus. That's song. because you're singing. Yo, something? no, 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 don't, don't, don't do that. Cause now you, okay, you just said Drake compared himself to Michael Jackson. All right, hold on. Kendrick compared himself Pop to song, Prince. Right, hold Pop on. songs usually have a certain type of tempo. Right, hold on, when she diss Remy Ma, that's a song. I don't know the name of the song. Sorry, I didn't know the Why name of the song. Why it took you five minutes to fuck? I was trying to remember the name of the song. I'm bad with songs. Shit, bitch, because you went straight to a diss song. Exactly. <laughs> That's a rap song. That shit with Eminem, she, she Drake, re- Wayne. No frauds? What you mean, no frauds, That's nigga? Eminem? Eminem? Oh, Barbie Dreams. Eminem, Drake, and Wayne? They were, when, she, when she was talking shit Listen. Like, it was Eminem, Drake, and Wang on the song. What song was that? I don't even know if that was her exactly. song. Exactly. You're not, I think you're not that a was fan Kanye. of that. Yeah, I, Kanye. I think that was you're Kanye's just song. You're talking, T-Rail. It was Kanye's song. It was for LeBron's movie. Well, that was for LeBron's movie? It was for a movie song. Hey, 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 you know what's crazy that you said a little bit fiasco, AD? Dad, dad, hey, AD, you know what's crazy that you said a little bit fiasco that that's like, that's one of Letty's favorite artists? Lupe that nigga, and then, bro. And then, and then he's like your artist's favorite artist. Lupe that nigga. Because he's crazy with the bars Food and, and liquor in the cool? He cool, he ain't my artist's favorite artist. Yeah, but you can't name your, your Nicki songs. I, I mean, I can't name songs, I'm bad like that. My memory's not cool like that. No, nigga, you, you just be it. talking, nigga. I ain't like, I just <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> You I don't, you don't you digest just the music a pop like that. Star. Drake is a pop star, nigga. No, it's fine. It's cool. I'm not taking that What's from you. What's wrong with that? That's, but, got, but that, that's what happened to Most Def when he called him a pop star. He My had to nigga, apologize. Drake will call himself a pop star. When? He's still a hip-hop artist, nigga. He's a hip-hop artist who has Shit, crossed when? over to the pop charts, nigga. 
Yes, nigga. Most of his hits are yeah, yeah, pop style. Most of his hits, my nigga, are are fucking pop songs, bro. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's dope. As an artist, pop you, you will style. Listen, as an <laughs> artist, you should want your shit to translate to that. That's what puts you on them the same limps as Beyonce's and the Taylor Swifts and everybody like that. Point is, you're both the other Tim Kendrick. I'm no, both. Point is, point is this, bro. There's nothing wrong with being a pop star. What I'm saying is, is when it comes down to just pure rapping. Can you Kendrick fuck with Drake? Just, yes or no? Who? You. I can't fuck with Drake. Okay, shut the fuck up then. What does that have to do with anything? He's a hip hop all uh, around I'm artist. Just, I, uh, oh my God. Can you fuck with Drake? I can rap. If you had to go bar for bar, are you fucking with Drake? Yes or no? It's not going to be an easy feat. It's not going to be easy. I'm, listen, I'm never degrading you myself. You getting skunk. You can hang with Drake. If Thank you go you. right now. <laughs> that listen, nigga I know everything you. about Drake. <laughs> I know everything about Drake. Drake don't know everything about me. You feel me? No, you don't, nigga. How would you? Damn, should you make a fake diss, Drake diss song? And no, just... I like Drake. I ain't going to diss a nigga. <laughs> you should do it. Make okay. Make song. Okay, that was a failed mission hey, trying hey, to hey, take up not, for both hey, of them. Hey, hey, but I'm going with Kendrick. Drake is one of the goats. That's the reason why I'm going Drake with Kendrick. Is, Drake is one of the goats, but nigga, we're never going against Compton. It's not happening. It's not happening. Um, that's why I just had a failed mission trying to I'm take up for both of them. I'm never going against the West Coast. Let me tell you something. Okay. Back in the day, I was a big G-Unit fan. Soon as game came out and he was dissing G-Unit, I got to ride with the West Coast. <laughs> I got to. That, that has time with you. What? I so think did 50 Cent turn pop? No, 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 Most of no. his hits are not pop. Window shopper. That's not a pop hit. Pop. His biggest pop no hit, his biggest pop Can't song is Candy Shop. Shop. That's a pop song. I'll take Can't it to the Candy I'll Shop. I'll take it that's to the Candy Shop. That's a pop song. Shop. <laughs> it's still a rap song, but it's like, Why? that's pop. Because that's 50 Cent saying that's that like, It's like Lil Wayne. When he came out with Lollipop, that was different. That was like a pop song. No, it What? Lollipop, yes. Bro, okay. By, by bro, y'all losing your mind, dog. Uh. That's what I'm saying, bro. He thinks he thinks just because they're playing it in fucking China or Argentina, yeah, it's a pop song. That's a pop song. You fucking Lollipop. idiot. Lollipop. Uh, no. I'm so then that means Kendrick's a fucking pop movie, artist. Yeah. No. What's his biggest song? If I rules and Chris. Oh, right along. That's a rap song. It's a rap song. But he, he's going based off. This is wrong, though. Yeah, for you're going based off if they could go out the United States, they're pop artists. No, just because something translate doesn't not make it a pop song. I want you to pop. Bro, the tempos, the way the hooks are, stuff like that. No, Shadi wanna thigh. Bottles and a cloud. Is Money Tree the pop song? No. Hey, hey, oh, shut the fuck up. Jack, <laughs> is Money Tree the pop song? No. Money trees. I'm gonna throw this fucking mouse in. From you. Kendrick? I don't know where does it go. Yeah, bitch. Oh, yeah. Me and Johnny Gator, yeah. It's bitch. not a pop song. It goes oh, so you're Hallelujah. saying Candy Shop is a pop shop, but that's not a pop song. Candy Shop by 50 Cent? Yeah. I'll take you to the candy. It's a boom! Pop song! Pop song! <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have to agree to disagree, but I get I get your take on it, and I'm not mad. Like I said, to me it just it just whack. The thing we need okay, to so can we agree that Starships by Nicki Minaj is a, is a pop? I song? I don't even know that fucking song. Yeah. 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 One that dance, one, one dance by Drake is is that's not even a pop song. That's like a, uh, what's that? I need a one dance. It's like an Afro yeah. beats, yeah. reggae, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dope ass song, by the way. But that don't make a pop artist. <laughs> it's not a rap song. But that don't make a pop artist though. What makes a pop artist? Me and my bitch trying to get in your bitch. What makes a pop artist? You make your opinion. Pop, because I'm singing that. <laughs> well, I'm just well, saying. That's what you if do. If we're like, calling Candy Shop and Lollipop a pop song, and, and, and you're, you're saying that that me and my friends are trying to get at your bitch, and, and you make it, a, it might be a pop song. Lollipop for sure a pop song. So what's the difference between pink right now as a okay, pop look, artist? Okay, let me say this. Hold on, let me ask you this. What's the difference pop between... Pop culture, what does that mean to you? What, look, let me ask you the difference between pink, because she came out as an R&B artist, and then she changed over Biggest to always a been pop, pop. Then she changed over to a pop star, but her music really didn't change. Her image just changed. Nigga, name Is one it pink the song. Image? Name one pink song. I don't know none of them motherfuckers. Then shut the fuck up. You always bring it up. Somebody don't know their music is. <laughs> <Made it up. laughs> yeah, made it up. I ain't made nothing up. I, You're, You're wrong, saying, brother. You just said You're pink. wrong, brother. You just said pink started off as R and B. She did. What name R and B song pink came out with? Bring it up. She started off R and B, dog. She started off. She started off. Is Alicia Keys the black a folks. pop artist? Yes, she did. And then she crossed Alicia on Keys over. Is, she's like a. 
Uh, alternative R and B, bro. You love picking and choosing when you want to make a pop artist or not. I said Money Trees. I said, bro, no, Alicia Keys. And, my, and then he was like, he was like, he was like, nope. Just Alicia Keys' biggest song is probably New York or Jay Z. Is Jay Z a pop artist? What are you doing? Go to the images. He has pop hits, but he's not a pop artist. Let me go to the images. Ad, Nigga, go okay, to the images. Hey, Jack, Jack, hear this out. He has I pop, said no, has pop, pop hits, but he's not a pop artist. And so that's the same thing with Drake. Drake has pop hits, but he's not a pop party. He's a rapper. Most of Drake's hits is pop. Oh, the, so bro, Kanye, he's picking and choosing so, who to name a pop party. <laughs> hold on, so Kanye's a pop artist too. Yeah, Kanye's probably the biggest. Bro, bro he's picking it. That's what you can't do. Kanye, listen, Kanye is my favorite rapper of all time. So why is he a pop? Why is he your favorite pop star? Huh? If he's a pop artist, why is he your favorite? Pop he's everything, bro. You can't. Bro, put him see, in. you can't pick it. You can't put Kanye. Okay, you can't so, put Kanye in a rapper category, bro. College dropout. Some of Kanye. That's a, the college dropout is a rap album. He's he's one of the biggest hip hop. Late stars. registration is a rap album. Graduation it starts dying. Okay, so, pop so this is my thing. So you you're saying. Okay, hey, for, you, for you proof, it's not a rap album. Okay, for you proof, what's one of Kanye's biggest songs? See, damn, he got a bunch. All of the lights. No, all of the lights ain't number one. I would say. <laughs> what's one of the just name one? Name one. How can you be so heartless? No one knows. Heartless is not okay. one of his biggest. I say. It is one of his biggest songs. Get the fuck out. And he's your favorite rapper, right? No, I'm trying. I'm trying to think. No, what was the see, biggest? bro, you're picking it. Hold on, cause I'm trying to think about. What's the one song that people think about when they think about Kanye? Because he got so many hits. Uh, Fuck. That might be one of the one lights out. It may. Good life may be one good of life, them. All falls down. What else? Uh, all falls. Oh, see. My favorite Kanye album, by the way, Jesus is Graduations. Walks. Jesus walks. Yeah, For some reason. Go digger. Gold digger. Through the wire still sticks out to me. Through the wire. I mean, the, but he. Nah, he's gonna like. But it was, it was that song, was that oh, song where he talks about, um, his, about his, the bitches being like, uh, like cloud chasers. It's, it's what Kanye Gold fuck. digger. Gold digger. It's gold digger. She takes my money when I'm. No, 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 no. The other. There's another song where he talks about he knows the bitch that fucked this rapper and this rapper. And seen her in this music video and this music video. Wow, I don't know why this song's not coming to my head. It's one of my favorite Kanye songs. Slow jams? No, 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 no. See, I'm bad with song names. Where, where? For where he's talking about, he's like, he's like, man, I know a bitch that fuck um JC like back in the day. And then 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 Oh bro, I don't know why I can't think of the fucking song right now. And then and and for it's about a girl trying to make it to the Grammys backstage, but she fucked this rapper. Like he names a couple rappers that fucked her. Oh, you wanna see a little pump? You're no. such a fucking hoe. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I was about. What's wrong with game you couldn't get far? That one. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's one of my like, favorite. I wouldn't it, get far. That's a full rap star. Bro, bro, bro that yeah. shit. Right you there. Did that. Yeah, man. Niggas in Paris is Niggas big. Niggas in Paris. That's a rap song. Oh, no, it's not. Got a whole rap no, album that, with Niggas in Paris ain't a rap song? Oh, this? They're rapping the whole time. Yeah, but I'm saying, but you just called him a pop star, the biggest. I'm saying Kanye. <laughs> bro, she, bro, he's a piece of Kanye is. He's a piece of shit. You can't put Kanye. If somebody says Kanye. No, Kanye is bigger than a rapper, bro. He's 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 higher than that. So is Drake. He's higher so than a rapper. now we're moving the goalposts. Y'all, yeah, y'all think I'm saying pop star like the diss him. I'm no, saying pop star. No, 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 no. I'm no. saying pop star. This is my thing. Yeah. This is my thing. If if Kanye's your favorite rapper, you just said that, right? Kanye, no, can, drop, you said, Kanye you said, can drop a different type of album tomorrow and it's accepted, bro, because of who he is. That's but. not my question right now. To right now, is Kanye, is uh, of all time, Kanye your favorite rapper, right? Yes. Okay, rapper, you just said it, right? Rapper. Okay, but his but biggest... But is he the best get rapper? rapper? Shut the fuck up! Call your favorite artist now. It's just I'm going to say artist. Yeah. Because you said your favorite... No, let's Chief Six, don't correct him. He said Kanye's his favorite rapper, but all his biggest songs are pop hits. It's no. just... His, his songs, his favorite... His name one song is pop hits. He's, Kanye's is bigger. You just... You said no, all his number one songs were pop hits. No, bro. I said Drake's. I didn't say Kanye's. No, you said you, some you of said, Kanye's. No, you I said, said most of Kanye's no, biggest songs. Got over no, here ask me. Because so the song? songs, Jesus Walks is a rap song. Hey. Nigga Through the Wire is a rap song. Hey, Gold yeah, Digger. We just went over Heartless. Heartless is one of his biggest fucking songs. That is a pop song. Well, wait, Stronger is his, Stronger, wait, Stronger is his number one? Yeah. That's a pop song. So is he well, a pop I, artist? Uh, uh, man, don't kill me. 
Don't go let me make me stronger. And then Big Bob will run. You got them Daft Punk vibes and shit like that? So you he's a pop artist. Nah, he got more of what's the girl shit. Bro, he's fucking... So, okay, so right, you said have this conversation again. I, I gotta, I gotta write down my facts because AD got me fucked. No, no, this that. is some fucking music because you don't know that. I don't have, have my, I don't got my <laughs> no, facts no. down. So the, the argument, the whole time, I got some good arguments started. Go down, I got my facts. Let's see, let's see, let's see. But, but, see, see, but the problem is that he said the reason Drake is a pop artist because most of his hits are pop songs. Yeah, most of his is not. That's what you said. So we could just start there, though, since I didn't know all the names. But you said most of his songs, all his hits is um, I pop didn't say hits. all. I said most you of You said them. most of his hits are pop it's hits, so that makes him a Kanye. pop artist. Kanye it's, is not, nigga. Yeah, the number one just went down pop. all his shit, and you said he was the biggest. What are you talking about? You said he's the Go biggest to the list. Star. Go to his top ten of highest charting songs. We can read them right now. Watch them all be pop if, No, it's not, nigga. Gold Digger is a rap song. So we saying that, or, well... Harless pops on. So, because he pops, so we not, you go take Drake over, you go take Kendrick over. Go Drake. digger! No, go. I'm gonna take Kendrick over everybody because I'm from Compton, California. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. What <laughs> okay. side? Fugot. <laughs> Chill, bro. Okay, hey, so you're tell- <laughs> hey, so you're telling me, so go digger's not a pop I'm song? What? So you telling me, go digger's not a pop song? It could be. That's a that's an argument. That's a valid argument. So hold on. So if Drake invites you right now to the to his concert, like, hey, come here, AD man, come on. Fuck with Drake. Come Why would not? Hey, yeah, come, come on, pop out. Come here, pop out. Is he going against? Is he going against Kendrick? Come on, come on. No, no, that's not what we asked you. Is he going against Kendrick? If Drake Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Family. Everybody. Is he going against? Shut. Shut. Look. Yes, he invites Nigga, you. Nigga, bump. <laughs> <laughs> you full of shit. <laughs> you going? <laughs> Go digger not a pop song. Grammy Award for best rap solo performance. Boom. Performance. Correction. Rap, though. It was the rap category. And I'm glad that you said that because I would say all 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 Nicki Minaj and Drake shit was in the hip hop category. Right. Nicki so it wasn't in the pop category. So that would makes them hip hop. So again. I think. So that would makes me correct since I don't know the songs. So thank you, six. Because a Grammy. I'm on your ass. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 we want this one today. Because I like how you said I definitely didn't, didn't win. I lost, I lost, I lost with my facts, but I'm back on it though. I lost when I was back bro, on you, it. Bro, you you proved our fuck. Bro, you're such a fucking. I didn't prove your point. Just because the Grammy said, oh, because they're black, let's put them in a the rap category. Oh, so oh, no, it's racist now. Yeah. Oh, you acted like T Rail, because you said, lost. No, because Nicki Minaj <laughs> said, look, just check this out. This is a hip hop song. You ain't gonna tell me what's pop. Like niggas like you. This is hip hop. And you can't name and three Nicki Minaj songs. <laughs> I can't name shit. Exactly. I, I wouldn't be able to name three Kendrick Lamar songs. That's how bad I am with this shit. Okay? Name three Schoolboy Q ones. Oh, you're a piece of shit. That's crazy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> he said, nah. I'm going to take that plaque off your fucking wall, nigga. That's one. That's cool. What, what's that one on my wall? What song is that? Nigga. <laughs> Bro, you're a terrible That's friend. Cool. Man, shut the fuck up, nigga. She floating. Shit, that's crazy. That's all you had to say. He had the plank in his house and he can't name the song. Man, I'm on my smack shit today. <laughs> I'm on my smack shit today. So all those songs are categorized hip hop, correct? Yes, rap. Right. Okay, rap, rap. Rap yeah, songs. because guess what? Guess they what? don't want to put them in the other character. Who's they? They want they you 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 the motherfucking the motherfucking elites, nigga. No, you categorize it's just like when Lil Nas X oh came out. God. They didn't want to put him under the country category. The they elites, mad at Beyonce not, right now. Elite. Listen, they mad at Beyonce right now. They talking about they don't want to put her under the country music category and shit like that, bro. They do do that shit, bro. They, don't have no they stereotype black people. And put them under hip hop because oh, they fucking black, nigga. You make the choice yourself, though. You know that. No, nigga, they did that shit, nigga. Ain't no right, day. Bro, you lost the argument. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I'm gonna give my opinion. Anyways, the savage third one. You, you don't only listen before. to rap like that. He don't listen to rap like bro, that. We, bro, we. I, I listen to more. I'm, I listen your to more argument than with y'all. Shut the, bro, your argument with me was Cordidos, Cordidos, Cordidos. Be bro, quiet. That's shut the fuck up. <laughs> whoa, now, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 hey. That's all you all you listen to. <laughs> You can't tell me I don't fucking rap, Duno. Your argument with me, shut the fuck up. Your, <laughs> your argument with me was Drake's a pop artist because all his hits are pop songs. No, I said No, Drake, bro, shut the fuck up. Drake, listen. Six, Drake, what are you saying? You're most double of advocate. Drake's rap hits, most of Drake's hits are pop hits. He said rap. He's he said rap. bigger he said than said. a fucking rapper. He's a pop star. How many pop hits does Drake have? Let's look it up. Let's, let's end this right now. He doesn't have any. <laughs> 
Hey, look up, look up Drake's, look up Drake's top Drake's ten hits. Drake's not categorized under Drake's six, top ten six, hits. Six, hold up, six, six, six. Before you look it up, look it up. What was AD's argument? What makes Drake a pop artist is that all his top hits are pop songs, right? That was that was his argument, right? That's what he said. That's what you said, right? So if your favorite rapper has most of his hits are pop songs, Kanye's, most of his hits is not pop, bro. We already looked it up. Oh god. Look at the Drake one, okay? Bro, no, I'm always crazy. You don't like to fucking lose, bro. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's let's just, let's read this. Is Hotline Bling a pop song? Yes or no? In your yes. opinion. Okay. Is In My Feelings? Keisha, do you love me? Is that a yes. pop song to you? Okay. Is One Dance yes, a pop yes. song? Okay. Um, Wait for You. Is that a rap song? Timmy Future. No, he raps on that one. No, he sings, nigga. He sings? Yeah. I couldn't wait for you. Uh, wait, with Tim's nigga. Uh, 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 uh. No, he, he raps. raps. All around Tim's, bro. Tim does the hook. He raps. That was nominated as one of the best hip hop songs. He's rappy. Keep going. Keep rappy. going. He's, He's rappy. Get the. It's a feature that don't count. Nice. Okay. It's a pop song. Nice for what? To these niggas. I know you got a man. Susie Slide. Bro, Best I ever had. Find your That's love. a pop song. Why are we sitting? I better find your love. Why are we love sitting here trying to categorize to something when it's already categorized under hip hop? Marvin's room. Cups at all. Rose. We don't care about he what raps. you think. Just because he sing on the hook. Bro, these is all. These Bro, are like just because he sing on the hook. Look, passion fruit from a mile away. Passion. He raps. He raps in all these songs. No, nah, controller. 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 All right, Drake. Take that back. We ain't going to your concert, dog. Why? Because, man, because you talking shit about him. I'll change This my is mind. not talking shit. This he is... just invi he invited us. I'm, I'm a... Yeah, I ain't fucking with you no more. Dude. All right, fuck. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Terrell, Terrell. 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 What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's going <laughs> Yeah, say your bitch has a comment. Bro, I'm just speaking facts. <laughs> All right. I'm just speaking facts, man. Yeah. I, 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 I'm not I, speaking I, facts. Those are hip hop songs. Those are not hip hop songs. He categorizes. Can we call hip -hop. somebody on either of your phones about? Like, it doesn't matter. You guys you have can valid go on right? iTunes right now. They're categorized under hip hop. Bro, there's Rocky. nothing wrong Let Rocky with do having. Listen, <laughs> look, look. I wish I can have songs like that. Can I choose? That I can. I will be a pop star in a hey, fucking, hey, hey. in an instant, nigga. Can I choose one rapper, homie? You guys each one have. To call him, just be like, I just, we just want to prove a point here. No, that's cloud chasing. That's not cloud chasing. It, it could be a regular friend. You just said a rapper, homie. Is Kaylin a rapper or is he a pop star? He's a singer. Wow. Go ahead. He's not a rapper. No, no, you're not categorizing. Oh my God. Kaylin is not a rapper, girl. Oh my God. He's a sick, he's an RB oh artist. Oh my God. He's a rapper? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Kaylin for Ripper is a rapper. So when Kaylin for real, for real drops, where does he categorize okay, so you, you see, I let's, Wait, wait. So you say Blast is a rapper too, right? No, I think, I think I- What I'm, are we talking about then? No, no, no. Blast is a rapper to me. He's a rapper. But he's also an R&B artist. But when Kaylin for real, so for real- So Kaylin is not an R&B artist. When he drops, what does he categorize under? Should be R&B. I didn't ask you what it should be under. <laughs> Nigga, you acting like I know the genre when he drops. What genre is this he is a under? Great, this is a great genre of, of, of you uh, whatever. Said, you said, you said, He's you not said. a rapper, girl. He's a he's an R and B artist. That's my homie, nigga. That's a rap. He's a, he's not a rapper. What? He can Gyra, rap. Is he under R and B? That's what I say. Hip hop rapper. He's a rapper, dog. He's rapping. And what they is label, they label and him take, and take <laughs> and what Why? is Blast under? I probably gonna say hip hop and R and B songs are what type of songs? What is Blast considered? Hip hop rap. Exactly. Just because he got a melody, nigga. When he do this shit, I mean, look. Blast. What is NBA Young? Shut the fuck up. What is NBA Young to you? Rapper. <laughs> but he's sick that I've shit. Bro, that nigga, that nigga so bro, fucking you, angry. You you pick and choose, bro. That's your fucking problem. NBA young boy does not have any pop hits, bro. He's blackballed against the industry. He's rapping. He's doing Bro, we're not talking just about him being just because you do something, <laughs> just because you do something melodic does not mean that you're not I, I rapping. I see what this here. You, I see what this I see what this is here. He's what is a hater. Young boy's a rapper. He's a hater because he can't sing his hooks. That's what, what that is, no, dog. Cause Kaylin can sing his hook. Oh, now he's so, okay, going Oh wow! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm gonna call Kaylin right now. No, 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 do not call Kaylin. No, 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 do not call Kaylin. I'm gonna ask him what does he consider himself. Do not call Kaylin. Do not. I was gonna ask him what does he consider himself. Do not call Kaylin. He's probably he's probably gonna say pop star. He's probably gonna say pop star to himself. 
But but you said he's not a rapper. Bro, no. He's a he's an RB artist. Okay. Bless you. His image is R&B, bro. He has music that he puts out to the ladies and stuff like that. Okay. He has some stuff that, Hear me out. that, okay. he's, that he's, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, talking. okay, right, okay. Good point, right? No Love Lost by Blast, right? He sang all his own hooks. Okay. And he rapped the fuck out of his verses. You're telling me that makes him an R&B artist? Because that's what you said. I think he's an R&B rapper. I'm saying if most of your music is R&B, you're an R&B artist. If most of your music is rap, you're a rap artist. If most of your music is something else, you're that something else. That's it. But what K was doing is still rap. It's just melodic rap. Bro, since he has a different, yes, a bro, we different proof, bro. It's You style. love okay, it. Okay, okay. And it's not hard. What would you call Tyler? It's not hip hop. What would you call Tyler? Tyler? Is he R&B artist or rapper to you? Because I, I bet you he's under the category as hip hop and rap. Yes, Ty Dolla Sign is a rapper. Ty is not a rapper, bro. He can sing too. He sing hooks. He can write, dog. He's a rapper. Would you consider Ty a rapper? Six. So when Ty, what do you say? Let me let me look at his catalog real quick. Hold on, cause when Ty Dolla Sign dropped, and you knew he was dropping, y'all, you didn't call Ty Dolla Sign a rapper. He's a singer. He can sing hooks. He's he's multi talented. Nah, that nigga rap. He's he's. Ty is a rapper? Same category rapper. Call Ty! You know Ty? But you was gonna call him, bro. You lost this argument, dog. Ty Domi. Call Joe. Look, 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 what about this? Call Joe, he's close to Ty. To ask, let Joe answer what he's he gonna think say. He's gonna say he's a singer. Call him right now, then. Y'all some haters, uh, guys. Who, who's y'all? So who's not y'all? You, not, you. not me, not me. Wait, Let's... Is Paranoid an R&B song? Two of my bitches in the club. No, I know about each other. That's not a fucking song. It's song, girl. No, <laughs> Shout out to Joe Moses. He did it. Oh. <laughs> bro, bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hey, don't oh, text him before. I'm not. I swear to God. Oh. Bro, I got so many numbers in him. Hold on. Oh, my God, <laughs> dog. So he said Kaylin's not a rapper. Kaylee for real, for real, is not a rapper. That's what, that's what, and, 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 let me see. Yes. No, no, hold on. Let me see. You might be, let me see if it's the right number. By the way, if you don't answer, just take the phone, move the phone right away. Oh, yeah. Come on, y'all. Hip hop, rap. Yeah, dollar signs in the chat, man. Kaylee for real, for real. Shout out to R&B artist, though. That's my nigga. Kaylee for real, for real. We don't got an emoji for my boy. What would shit he have? <laughs> hey, Kaylee. You my nigga, give my nigga Kaylee the emoji. Oh, Y'all go crazy. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. That might not be the right one. That's good. Hey, let's just, let's, let's, let's end this here. He thinks Kaylee's not a rapper. He thinks Bass isn't a rapper. Or Ty. And he thinks oh, that. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Kanye is the, let me see, the biggest let me see pop artist of name? all time. Takarda? Oh, yeah. He's a rapper. He could just really sing. Because a singer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this nigga AD. Everybody, hater, what's up? That's not a hater, girl. You hate the niggas who got the fl- a different flow. How am I hating on somebody by saying you just calling them pop stars? Not with their music. Watch this, watch this, watch they this. They have pop records. But watch this, not, watch this. They not pop so stars. So what's Savvy Third to you? A rapper, but he sings. No, he has melodic hooks sometimes, but he's a rapper. He's a rapper. He's a rapper. Exactly. He just said what we said about the other rappers. Get your ass out the screen. Bro, <laughs> them niggas have melodic verses and melodic hooks. They get melodic rappers, nigga, because they're rapping and being melodic. Bro, them niggas is R&B artists sometimes, bro. Sabi Third is a rapper, girl. Hey, Sabi Third is a R&B artist. Who? No, I said Sabi's a rapper. He said he's an R&B artist. No, 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 no. I'm saying what you would consider. What's beat up? Mm. No, yeah, exactly. No, and, and, and back to seven, you said if they sing on this Brino's shit. A, Brino's a hybrid, yeah. Mm. He rap R and B. He rap R and B, yeah. He Stop. rap R and B. So Kanye, who the fuck is bitch? Shout bro. out Brino. Bro, you, Kanye's a pop artist. You lost. Shout bro, out Brino. You're wrong today, bro. Hey, that's my opinion, girl. This is what it is. Shout out Brino. Wow, he's a hybrid. <laughs> Wow, I was gonna call yeah. a random. We <laughs> call a pun. Let me see if he's up. He should be here anyway. For you know who's strictly just a rapper? Uh-huh. G Perico. Yes. Can't yes. sing for shit. But <laughs> great. Because you can't sing. <laughs> Hold on, wake your ass up. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm, on be here. I'm on Broadway. I'm on Broadway. I'm on Broadway, nigga. This G. Yeah, I said if most of your hits is something else, then you something else. In Bro, a prize the- click. All of the prime nah, example. All of the prime bitch. example. Prime example. Prime example. Because Doja Cat can rap her ass off, but do you consider Doja Cat a rap artist? Yes. She's a pop star. Doja Cat is a rapper. She's a pop star. She's, She's a pop star. R and B singer. 
She R and B. It's the same shit I'm talking about. She R and B too. She can rap her ass off, nigga. But she more R and B though. But but you're going based off too though. But you're going. I'm saying based off of the most of her hits. If most of her hits, I'm gonna talk about the. Watch this. She can rap her ass off. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Right. So you're going based off what they have most of. No, I'm saying. No, no, yes, you are. The you said most of the hits. Okay, most of them. So, okay, okay. Go ahead. So does those that make... Those are Kata Rapper. Hey, hey. All right. Those are Kata Rapper. LeBron has how many rings? What are we talking about LeBron so, okay, for? Look at the... Hold on. Wait, let, let me work. Let me land. Let me land. Okay. LeBron has how many rings? Four. About to be so stupid. He has four. He has two with Miami, one with Cleveland, one with the Lakers. Yeah. Does... Just because he has more in Miami, does that make him more of a he than it makes him a Cavalier? What? Five this is the stupid. I knew it was gonna be stupid. No, no. You're going based okay, off what they have more. Now we can move. This was no, no. That was stupid. He's going based off what they have more. He has more rings with the Miami Heat. Does that make him more of a Miami Heat than it does a Cavalier? Because he has less. But he's from Cleveland. That's where he came from. Why are we equating basketball to a genre? You're of music saying of what they have most stuff. It's still I'm talking about when it comes down to music, Duno. You know? I'm well, not talking about I'm making them, a comparison. the NBA training them or them going you know to another saying. city to win I, some I see, fucking I see, rings. I've seen where Duno is trying to land. stupid-ass question. No, you no, know, it's not I stupid. I understand. That's the stupid. Y'all stupid no, over there on that I, couch. I understand what he was saying, though. But Doja Cat, she, she can't equate to R&B. They will, I yeah. said, would you got Listen. Would I, you I got, put her in the R&B category, pop category. But Why, though? Because that's the that's the probably ninety nine percent of her. Music. My nigga, that's it's not, bro. Cause she raps on a lot of her fucking songs, bro. I'm, I'm still bamboozled by a the fact that he said Kaylin wasn't a rapper. She's rapping on there, bro. I'm but still, she's a pop I'm still star. Stuck there. Post so, Malone, but, he can rap. He's a pop star though. He has pop hits, nigga. There's nothing wrong with that. No, but the majority of their music is pop hits, like Chris Brown. He can rap too, dog. So it's what would you consider thing. Chris Brown? Chris R- Brown's an R- R&B R- artist. He got known and famous for his R&B songs. Okay. But, okay. So but let's, the so way, let's okay, go back. Okay. So a song like, These Hoes Ain't Loyal, it sounds like Chris is rapping on here. That's the same shit that Kayla does on his songs. That's an R&B song, nigga. So, Just got rich, took it for nigga, bitch. I can about, about, bro, it's the same shit. Watch no, this. No, that, Watch Hoes this. Ain't Loyal is a hip hop song, dog. And that's what Kayla for real, for real is doing, right? Watch this, watch this. That's a hip hop song, right? Shut up, LeBron, you stupid. Hold on. <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold on. That Jose hold on, hold on. That's a hip hop song, correct? Hold on. Then <laughs> you just said that. And that's what Kayla for real, for real is doing. It's an R&B, it's an R&B artist, Kayla. No. <laughs> Those Jose and Loyal is a fucking hip hop song. That's what Chris Brown is doing. I bet you, I bet you Kayla, Kayla wants his career to go more Chris Brown range than a rapper range, and bro. And I get that. So, so that's what he's saying. He, he wants loyal. to be an R&B artist. So Loyal is a hip hop song, correct? It's a pop song. Oh, my God. Dun, Loyal is dun, a hip hop song. Dun, dun, dun. That's the majority of what Kaylin for real, for real dun, dun, do. He's a hip hop artist, dun, dun. dog. You scandalous, so you a hater. How is that a hater? Why you hating on my boy talking about he R and B pop? This not so. Hey, see, look, watch that's this. bad. That's no, bad. Watch that's this. bad. Cause well, no, no, y'all, shut think, the y'all, think it, y'all think it's a diss to say somebody's no, R&B no. We don't really think it's a diss. <laughs> Which, okay, okay. If he, are, if they're rapping, hey, it's a diss. You're Compton, right? Oh, Compton all the way. Compton all the way. Is YG a rapper or R&B artist? He's a rapper. Okay, but his biggest fool. The song that got him popping and where he got was Tootin' and Booted. That's not his biggest song. That got him popping. That got him in the game. He had Ty on there, who's an R&B artist. He put him on R&B hook. YG, the rap, he, he rapped on there. Stink, I'm cute. She want to have sex. Girl, knock it off. No, you can't. Come on, girl. That's a rap song. But what people consider it a pop song because they said it's a pop. I mean, there's an R&B artist in it. Because Ty's an R&B artist. He put the hook on there. So Just because you got an R&B nigga on the hook, don't make you an R&B so artist. So what happens when he's singing the hook? My nigga, my nigga. That's <laughs> my nigga, my nigga. Why she is not even on the hook? Well. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. It's I'm still, here, he's girl. still singing. That nigga's not even on the hook. <laughs> Yeah, you're wrong. My nigga? You're wrong there. <laughs> you're wrong there. You're wrong there. He's not even on the hook. Well, who's singing that? Rich Holy Boy. Oh, nigga. Oh, well, then it's really You don't know fucking music. None of y'all niggas, man. Oh, I forgot all about that. My arguments were valid. Hey, look, once again, AD. Hey, what's His arguments were a little off the way. You by yourself? Hey. <laughs> you on the island by yourself? No, man. Hey, what's but that's who you are. What's Young Thug? Stop fucking with him. I didn't know him. So it's, it's all YG oh, song. Oh, my God. But let's just, but let's just be out. Like, bro, you saying Kaden is not a rapper is crazy. He's a hybrid, bro. But I think that he wants to be more like, bro. You got to think about it. He's he he makes music mostly for the ladies and shit like that. That's his thing. It's nothing wrong. With it. That's dope. 
blast the same exact way. All right, let's get back into our topics. <laughs> great, great conversation, by the way, fellas. That was dope. That was uh, dope. 80 a hater. I got you off the Doja Cat one. And I don't know shit today. You didn't get me. I didn't. I got you off the Doja Cat one. I will t- I'm gonna tell y'all why I don't know shit today, but it's okay. You don't know shit today? Cause nah. you don't know fucking music. You just be talking. My nigga, my nigga. <laughs> my nigga, my nigga. Yeah. My nigga, my nigga. That's not a win for T Real. Hey, hey, hey. Six. My nigga, this caught one or that caught one. Let's just be let's we won this argument. Amazing. Uh, I'll let the people say. You start just making shit up after a while. I didn't make shit of it. I just giving my opinion of what I he feel. Said, he said, he's a blast. Bro. R&B. I'm like, he's an bro. He got a fucking. That. All right, Fig Community Cypher, man. You taking your W. <laughs> Let's give you your W, man. Let's give my boy AD his W. Woo! I don't know why people doubt me. Who doubted you? I'm all over Nobody doubt you. <laughs> You're stupid. Nobody no ever doubted you, but you do have a song with Kaylin for real, for real. It's an R&B song. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> It's it bang too. I think you should still push that though. But uh, Big Unity Real Cipher, that shit was tight. She was super dope. Um, I heard some people, you know, it was a little some people hating, and then, but then majority is they loved it, fucking around with it. Uh, I, I thought this was a freestyle. This is not who got ab libs on the on the freestyle. Just say Flacco name, nigga. <laughs> Fuck Flacco, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but Mark Nasty is, you know, I think he is uh, the performance. You know, the song, children. the bars, all the whole little shit was was sick. Every artist did their thing. You got Traff, you got Six in there. Uh, Stet, he did his thing, man. Shout out to Stet, he did his thing. Um, AD, you feel me? And my boy TF. Man, that shit was hard, man. I think we should do a lot more. Shout out to Gina for coming to do her thing, you know. Being in her, uh, that's her whole little, you know, that's the it's her natural habitat. Yeah, that's her, that's yeah. the, that's her habitat for sure. I don't like how like, I don't like how people hit me up about. like, nigga, you heard everybody verse and wrote yours. That's false. Who the fuck said that? People was DMing me that. They was like, nigga, you wrote your verse first. I, I don't mean, give a fuck if you could. You heard everybody first no, or no, not. No, you didn't still nobody, write a better verse. Didn't nobody hear nobody's shit before they submitted their shit. Nobody. Yeah, Eric Pun put that shit together. Pun got everybody verse separately. Everybody verse, and then even when they together. was telling me, because I, I swear to God, nigga, Python Six, everybody was like, nigga, TF shit crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. that's all they said. That yeah. shit crazy. I got that shit TF. Crazy. I think I got TF verse first, mm-hmm. and then uh, everybody else shit just start trickling in. Then Pun got it. Pun got the Step shit. Did this shit last? Last, last. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, Step didn't do his shit last, yes, but he, he went and mixed it. With He's, no, he was he was the he last, last submitted. He was the last one to submit it. Yeah, that was the last submitted. Cause he yeah. stayed in the fucking studio well, with Pun. He was the last the fucking yeah, night he before. was the last submit. Then he wanted to go mix it. Like nigga, this ain't going on no goddamn fucking. If we should put it on. Uh, DSP, Loda Gray want to put it on DSPs. Yeah, we should. We should. Stat. Loda Gray want to put it on there. Mm-hmm. Loda Gray, you sh- we should do that. Shout out to Loda Gray. I told that's, him um, holla at Pun yesterday. Stat, yeah, let's do that. Stat's definitely in my top three. Out of who, this. Okay, who was your? Okay, let me ask you this. Yes, your opinion. Who had the worst verse to you? As somebody that's like, I guess you would say narcissistic. I love that you mentioned me and my friends. So I'm going to put you at number one. <laughs> no, no. I said who had the worst. Oh, don't do that, bro. Nigga, some opinion. Six. Fuck it. <laughs> but also, six isn't the rapper out of all the whole group. So yeah, I'm, I, I would have right, if I would have been on there, it probably would have been worse than six. Your top three. Um, you, Stead, and, and TF. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I expect them, I, I ain't gonna lie, if I expect them more from traffic, just cause I'm a fan of like aggressive, like when motherfuckers talk they shit like, like, I'm, I'm a fan of that and I, and I kind of want to, cause kind of like how he came off on, on Tuki Knows, that's the, that's the, that's the traffic that I fuck with tough. What order would you put, uh, me, Stan, TF, in your opinion? Um, I would go, I would go TF. I would go TF, Stat AD. Bye. So you give Stat number two. Yeah, oh, just Stat gonna roll with this. Stat said. <laughs> but I'm gonna just tell you why. I'm, I'm gonna just tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> Stat gonna use this motherfucker. Watch. I'm yeah. gonna tell you why. I'm, I'm gonna just tell you. I'm happy for the homie. I'm happy for the homie. Like, I was like, <laughs> and, and especially since it's our shit, I kind of paid attention. Like, I actually like paid attention, and and. Yours was a little more like I understood. I already knew what well, I kind of already knew what you was gonna say. You already said, but I didn't expect that from Stead. That was kind of like that element of surprise. So I got it. And TF to me just went hard. She went crazy. But I'm not saying yours was bad. But out of decipher, 
Your number, so so you giving stat number one because the shock value. No, no, no value. give me stat number two. Uh, based on shock value. On shock value and and his bars, I to like really. So like it I stuck with you more than AD bar stuck with you. Yes. Okay. Nigga, he said I was number one. Oh well, say so who's above Stet? He said I, mean, I was number Stet? one. He said Stet was number two. He said TF was number three. Oh, so his bar stuck out more to you than no, TF. no, no, no. You're number three. You're number three. Oh, I'm number three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit! I said. Oh, I heard it right. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sit your ass over there. But he started off saying, <laughs> "All right, never mind, loser." No, 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 no. I said me being like me being biased on the fact that you mentioned me. Trash. Trash. <laughs> this is what I said. Me being biased on the fact that you mentioned me and my homies. Yeah. I like the but when I'm saying like it's just at a point if I'm looking at it like as like as somebody that I don't know any of you guys and it's a cipher, I was like I was I was really surprised by Stet. It caught my it caught my attention. I was like, oh okay, like yeah, you so, know what I'm saying? Like so oh cool. Stet bars, you, yeah. Yeah, it yeah, was, was like it was like a day. So Stet was bar. number one. No, no, no. He was number two again. over you. Oh, yeah. Number two over you. Oh, he over gonna you. Eat this shit. <laughs> He was never I mean, listen, you, the, the people have already spoken. I don't have to say anymore. Oh, look. See, the people have already oh, spoken. Oh, He's so full of them. Yeah. He was a rap anyway. Yeah, I don't listen to rap. Cornelos, Cornelos, Cornelos. Cornelos, 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 Cornelos. Who's, who's, uh... Oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Keep in mind, two of them are from the 50s, like... He has to start off with who's the worst. Oh, yeah. I got to start off with who's the worst? Yeah, because you asked me that, He already said six. Uh, I'm gonna start off with who's the worst, Gina. No, oh, I'm just, oh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you don't want to pick nobody, but nah, shout out Gina. You uh, made me pick motherfucker. What the fuck? I didn't make you pick. Du- you AD said- did that. A six did that. <laughs> six, six, six. I wanted to pick me. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, six and AD made you do that. I just say that. six, bro. He's the least rapper, so no. makes sense. But he knows. No, I'm not, dog. Okay, okay, okay. Don't say worse. Worse is a bad word. Worse is a wrong word. So Especially if a lot of them are. This the order. Traffic. So traffic beat AD. So traffic number okay. No, that's the order from <laughs> no, 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 not, not from one. No, from no, five, I know what he's saying. From, starting from the bottom. Oh. So traffic. Oh. Then six. <laughs> okay. He going with back on fix it. Then no, who said that? <laughs> that's okay. Go ahead. I ain't even looking at. I don't even know what's. How going many on rappers are here? here? Six. Six. I'm telling y'all. Traffic. What's, he said you're number six. Go ahead, because traffic. Because he had the shortest verse, I feel like. No, six he did. He shortest. had 12 bars. Get the fuck out. No, he didn't. He just... No, he had a 12 bar. He had a 16. Six had 12. Traffic had 16. That's because he you added don't listen on those to shit. two things. He didn't listen. He didn't listen to He all. added on those two things at the end where it made it a 16. It could have it. He's not lying about that. Yeah, he made it, though. He made it linger. So he repeated, I think he he repeated something. Yeah, he repeated something twice. He repeated two bars. Yeah, something about... What was it? Like... I'm just showing you the steps to something, something. Yeah, something about leadership. Okay. He repeated that shit twice. So that made it a 16. So I say, because his verse was the shortest, it'd be traffic. And then it'd be sixes. Both of the uh, verses was the shortest. I feel like they could have got off uh, way longer. But they shit was still tight. So they could have got off way longer. And then I will put... Um, I will put uh, Stet. I will go Stet. And then I would go Mark Nasty. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because I just, you know, I love the energy. I love the performance. I love the song. The performance is fire. You best can, performance? Yeah, best performance for me. You, you I ain't gonna lie. Hands I gotta up. give it to him. But the look, fact that he said, I'm my mama. He yeah. put his hands up. I said, we in church, bitch. Hold on. But look, but just given the fact that you can take his verse right now and you can actually... Bump that shit make it to a song. and rake it to the song. Mm-hmm. So I fuck with Mark Nasty. So you could definitely make that to a song. And I'm gonna give that. and I'm gonna give that t- the next is TF because you can actually add on the TF shit too and make it an actual mm-hmm. song. So those two niggas for sure, those those are two songs that you can you can bump and ride. So to. AD's number one. A D is number one because he really, you know what I'm saying? He really did what he was supposed to do as far as the cipher and you know and just battling and throwing shots and making sure he covered every aspect of what's going on. Which I can on. agree. Currently. He took it. He took it more as a battle rap, which is technically where cipher comes from. You know, you spit your bar. You it's it's, it's supposed to be like yeah oh, yeah. So so no I, I look, look look look. It's like it's like this, right? When you look at like BT ciphers and shit like that, when I grade somebody, when I see it, it's the person that's gonna go the hardest, bro, and bring that shock value. It's not just about. What they say and what they do. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like 
bro, like people hit me up like, damn, I know you can rap like that. I know you can rap like I know you can rap like that. You feel me? For one, covering everything. For two, the way the delivery was and shit like that, and the way a nigga killed it and shit like that, bro. Like, nigga, it's it was it was it was great. You know what I'm saying? Why are you bigging yourself up? You don't no, let me do that, man. Listen, shut the listen, fuck up. listen. I'm talking about here, look, 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 main character syndrome. You know, uh, yeah, the way he was doing no, it. No, but let me tell you something. <laughs> as far as a rapper, rapper, rapper aspect, right? I know people are not going to grade it as a rapper aspect, bro. TF had rapper bars, bro, that I know went over people's heads, bro. Nah, I know stupid niggas like, like no, no. Nanda. I know stupid niggas like Duno not I gonna put catch it. Number one, bitch. No, shut up, cuz. I know stupid niggas like Duno not gonna catch it. Certain niggas not gonna catch it because when I'm listening to the lines and shit that he's saying, bro, like the Michael Phelps line and E Honda line and shit like that, the average motherfucker is not gonna grasp that and know what the fuck he's talking about. It sounds good, but he talking. Some shit in that motherfucker, bro. Bro, he said a lot of shit in that motherfucker, bro. That's why he went number one to me. You're mad. Right now, you're you prove my point why I would have put him number one when it comes to a cypher. Bro, you're losing today. Shut the fuck up. You want to talk about stupid down to rap? I'm not listening to you with nothing, bro. Shut up, bro. He's a Kayla wasn't a rapper, bitch. I want to give TF his flowers because his bars was 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 top notch. He killed that shit. I gotta give Stan his bars too. You feel me? Because Stan surprised me. Stet was doing his thing. Get off you his feel notes. me? Oh my god! I can't. I can't shout the homies out. Stet was doing his thing. I was not. You were rolling your eyes when I put him over you, bro. I'm not listening to you with rap. <laughs> Stet, Stet, now, can, now can I finish? Hold on, let me finish. Stet did his oh shit, bro. He did his thing, bro. He, he, that energy that he had. That nigga came, bro, with the with the new braids. That nigga asked me for some hats before he didn't even wear the hats. Cub came with the briefcase, nigga, the fucking pit bull. I was like, all right, Stet didn't come to play. You know what I'm saying? I like that shit, that bro. Nigga, nigga came prepared, bro. That nigga had his dog, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, asked TF for a verse, nigga. <laughs> fuck wrong with you, nigga. Mark Nasty, Mark Nasty. It's, that performance, that shit was amazing. Okay, bro. we didn't ask for your opinion anyways, Tyrell Finisher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro, shut the fuck up. You were in it. He made it about him, he made yeah. it about him again. I'm shouting the homies out. Bro, stop making everything Be, about before you, you I'm talking about Stat. Before you shout out the homies, after Make you picked up yourself on why you had the best verse. Number one. And the way she said <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? He made it about him and he a hater today. You feel me? That's fine. Even though I don't know my facts today. That's okay, oh, man. man. Um, but yeah, AD, he, he de you definitely covered everything you're supposed to cover, and I fuck with it. But more to come, you feel me? Maybe a cipher. Maybe you might see me and Duno do some shit. I don't want to ruin the Duno cipher. Duno last though. place. I'm dead. Yeah, you last. Nah, well, I'm gonna have AD write my shit. I definitely. No, nigga, ask somebody else write your shit, bitch. Uh -huh. I'm yeah. fucking wrong with you, ho. I'm out of stand. Fuck you, ho. Yeah, yeah. I'm ask that. You know what I said. You know what I said. Look, you know what I said. I'll let you do the next one, Lexi. What you mean? Let her do the next cipher. All the girls do the next. Lexi rapping. And put, she she ready to get in the game. Man, get the fuck out of I'm here! I'm serious. She said she ready to get out there. <laughs> what? You think Heather cook Lexi? Heather cooking Lexi. <laughs> I'm like this. Hey, baby, we gotta go over this right now. <laughs> She gonna be in that motherfucking rapper bar. <laughs> she gonna be like this? On crib, good. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro, we team. should have a rap next, bro. Yeah, let's Heather, do it. Heather, Lexi, get all the girls from Fig Muni. And that'd be hard. The next cypher. That shit be funny, Ooh. homie. Ooh. Content. Yeah. And we want to make sure that you guys, since we good call, out, brother, we putting out all our rap stuff out, man. We want to make sure y'all uh, go check out our stuff on Fig Community World. Our next uh, performance we had up was Savvy the Third, man. Legends Only Shout Studio to Savvy Third. doing it up, man. And what if you didn't know, Savvy Third's an R and B artist, according yeah, to a rapper, according to AD. So he was a rapper from the get go. R and three. I mean, because he, I guess he got more rap songs, but he do got some pain. He be singing. Damn, cut the spot getting hot. Yeah. Can't trust the homegirls that be fucking on the ops. Eliminate my enemies with shots. Come on, girl. That's rapping. Yeah, you don't even know that. You never heard of Savvy Thursday. Why don't we love love? Because they don't love us. Fuck love. I got a love grudge. That shit right there coming through some shit in my heart breaks. I ain't going to lie. I tweeted the other day. He made it last month. Hey, I, that song? I, I ain't going to lie. I tweeted the other day. I said, I need the old love in love in the ghetto Savvy Third. That was my favorite Savvy Third of all time. My nigga, niggas be going through shit. Savvy third. I ain't gonna lie. When I heard Love Grudge, I said, damn, bro, I wanted to hug him when I met him. <laughs> I just wanted to give the homie a hug.
That shit was that crazy. Love Grudge. Have you heard that shit? Yeah. You really heard shit. I ain't heard that shit. Look, right. bro. Why do we laugh? Hey, what, what do you listen to on the regular? What do I listen to? Like, not like no bullshit. He drives in quiet, it's remember? His own thought. He listen to back home fit when he's driving over here. <laughs> I can't I can't get out of my own head. <laughs> listen to his you don't listen to no music though, really? Nah. Hell nah, bro. He listen to all his pilots he had before before it could be cut up. <laughs> <With SB. laughs> oh like, my god. He put his window down, put his hand out. And just be like, yeah. You don't listen to nothing? Damn, you know what? I just realized you can't I put your hand out the window. You listen to SZA all day? <laughs> you can't do. <laughs> I just hey, I just realized. I just realized. I just realized. I just I just I'm driving, and sometimes. I'm with you. And I ain't do. You just too important. <laughs> Why are you over here laughing so hard? Look at them big ass drawers you got over here, Sean. Stinky ass nigga. Hey. Oh my god. Hey, you can't put your hand out the window when you're driving. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Why I can't? <laughs> because you would have to be like. Like over like this. <laughs> I can. You drive with this hand? I drive with my right hand. <laughs> oh, God. Y'all niggas is too funny, homie. <laughs> no, but shit is crazy. Man, fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> no, no. I... <laughs> Okay. Man, see, that's why I don't fuck with y'all like that, huh? <laughs> they see you live in the back on Vig. Says on BR. See, I know you don't I know you don't fuck with me like that because you didn't show up to the reunion. Show didn't. I for sure did it. I was raving. Oh, nigga. I was having a great time. I you scared you, you scared you scared to stay out the beef? No, I knew he was gonna go show up anyway. I just wanted to put you on the fire. <laughs> Hey, that shit was funny though. Y'all, y'all was wildin'. <laughs> that shit was tight, man. Hey, fucking did Trevor say anything? Yeah. yeah. He talked? Oh, yeah, Trevor. You didn't watch the episode? I didn't watch the whole thing. That shit fucked So you don't out. listen to rap or support the homies. Got it. Uh, I support it back on Vic Tironos. Nah, that shit was tight, man. Trevor, was, he, was, he had some shit. No, but he wasn't like disrespecting the uh, old boy or nothing. I mean, for what? I mean, that shit's trash anyway. But he was oh, he was talking <laughs> about... Uh, <laughs> Point and shoot, he has oh, some point shit to shoot. go Point and shoot, so funny, funny as fuck. Shout I still that nigga point and shoot, dog. I love point and shoot. I didn't know funny. that nigga was that funny, homie. Yeah, funny. I, 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 I To this day, I still don't know who it Watch is. Watch his videos, bro. I knew They're he was good? funny. Yes, nigga. I, I, but cuz is hilarious, dog. Bro, cuz like, his voice is hilarious, bro. <laughs> and the way he describes certain shit, the nigga, bro. This shit funny. Even when he talking about us, it's funny as hell, bro. Well, they're gonna come over here to this idiot. He yeah. doesn't know shit. <laughs> My nigga, he is hey, hilarious. Hey, when he was talking about Trevor, I was crying laughing, cuz. <laughs> here he goes lying again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about some shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna get in his homies now. Everybody is close Yeah, he said everybody's close to him. We'll start making <laughs> no, videos yeah. about. <laughs> I'm gonna start making videos to kill <laughs> nigga, Oh my god, that nigga said I could call in. Like, maybe T Real. He said, I'm not gonna make videos. Tre Trevor, Trevor is so insignificant. I'm gonna make videos by everybody else around him. No, that nigga said, I'd rather make a. I'd rather. what he say? Say something about a sandwich. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think he said a ham sandwich. <laughs> make a video about Trevor. He said, I'd rather, I'd rather make a video about a ham sandwich than make a video about you. <laughs> nigga, Bro, that, that nigga, nigga funny, funny dog. Hey, how many subs you got now? Homie? Uh, he has almost 60k. Damn, that we gotta get point and shoot to 100k, man. Yeah, there we go. Uh, man, click on that. Hey, put, give, give us, give us some love. Uh, hey, point and shoot. Why? Where the fuck you at, man? Show cuz on the screen, man. Subscribe to Point and Shoot. Oh, so nobody knows how he looks. Trevor do. Trevor do. <laughs> Trevor said he look crazy. I know how you look too. He showed me a picture of you, cuz. How could it look? I, it don't even matter how you look. He funny. Cuz funny. That nigga funny, dog. He is a funny nigga, homie. I mean, that last video that he got though, point and shoot, damn, he roasted that nigga, bro. He be roasting shit. Does he beef it with Flacco? Uh, yeah, he he be going, he be going. You like that? Type shit. 
A little heavier. <laughs> a lot heavier. He said a lot heavier. <laughs> <laughs> a lot heavier than that. Oh, but he just funny as fuck. He just funny. The way he describes shit and the way he be talking, shit is just funny, dog. And it's not like a long, drawn out ass video. Get right to the facts. What you need to know. And it's just funny. You know what I mean? Even oh, though, that's good. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's all good. Shit, it don't matter. That nigga funny. I don't like white people that shave their whole face and they neck. That shit is hilarious. Man, well, as long as, Grow I mean, beard. content is content. Like, I don't care what you look like. That nigga funny, though. <laughs> yeah, he funny as fuck. Watch but his no, videos. That, that was good. A lot of people was like, damn, where's Duno? I think we were just missing Duno and we was missing Smack. But that's okay. We still have fun in there. We still have fun in there. You know what I mean? Nah, but keep in mind, I already talked to you. No, he was missing Lush, too. Oh, no. He's a bitch. He declined the invite. He ain't a part of that shit, man. He only stayed there a little bit, though. Like, Would you ever invite him again? Nah, nah, nah. See ya. Hell nah. Hell nah. Hell no, I wouldn't invite you. I mean, it started off with us trolling and fucking around and shit like that. But I had already called everybody and niggas got excited and shit. And I'm like, well, fuck it. Let's make it a real thing. And, you know, and you know, have everybody come over and still, you know, in a fake battle. You, you know what I'm saying? Since Who's was, next to you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, my fault, my fault, my fault. That's Flacco in between Housephone and T-Rail. T-Rail's eyes are closed. That's how faded this nigga was. Yeah, I was gone. That's why I need we to stop putting on my glasses. I don't even know where Flacco at in this picture. Next to you, motherfucker. Next to you. Oh, damn. There That's why I was lost on who else. Who the fuck is that again? Oh, he was well-dressed that day. He was he was dressed kind of nice that day. That's fucked up, bro. Y'all should have gave him that couch. He was in that low-ass chair. I ain't giving that. That was, that was House Fawn and Pylor. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah. That was that. I mean, he, start, he sat on the couch after, though. Nigga, that shit was fun. That shit was cool, man. We got to come back and do that I shit I said again. once a month, nigga. That shit was tight. You going to come next time? Everybody was just yeah, in there I'm drinking here. and smoking, nigga. We got big wing stop on the table, nigga. Yuri broke a bottle. Yeah, Yuri broke the big ass vodka bottle, raised some ranch on the floor. A, a Russian would break a big ass vodka bottle somewhere, huh? Man, dog. It would just be some Russian shit. Speaking of Yuri, that nigga going viral right now, bro. Uh, oh, I've seen viral. that. He going super viral right now. Like one point something million views on 18 hours, I've seen. No, it's more than that. Nigga, he, he called in he called in on my last stream when I was dolo. Oh, he was talking about it? And we hey, shout out to you for your solo shit. stream, too. That shit was funny. You held it down. Yeah, that shit, that shit was fun, too. I could have went some mm -hmm. more hours, too. I ain't going to lie to you, but I was like, I looked up. It was 8 o'clock. I was like, I got to get out of here. But, you know, and I was just freestyling that shit, just chilling, man. Chilling and, and okay. watching fucking around. Now, who's this, this YouTuber? It's a nigga named uh, Penguin Zero Critical. How many, how many subs he got? 14 million? That nigga got 14 million. Yeah. And he made a whole video about Yuri? Yes. Wait, like a million in a day? Uh, 2.5. Damn. Worst argument ever. I mean, look, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I love Yuri to death, but that, was, that, that wasn't a good argument. Can you uh, give me a little back? Can you, can you give me a little background? So basically, um, I guess somebody showed him that Riley had, had tried YouTube before. Or she was with somebody. Like, where, where she says her gay best friend and her other friend. And then Yuri was basically like arguing with her that, oh, you didn't tell me that, you know, you, you did YouTube before. You said this was the first time you were attempting YouTube. So she's like, she was like, no, nah, I ain't like that. But he's like, no, you should have told me that you tried YouTube before. That was the whole argument, basically. And like when I spoke to him, when, he, when, you, when you look at the video, when I speak to him, when he's speaking to Riley, I just say, I was like, Yuri don't even seem like he's that mad. Or he's mad at all. He's just doing the content. I don't think he was that bothered by it because it was, it was a gay guy in there anyway. But I just feel like they didn't have so many arguments in the past in the way, you know what I'm saying, he didn't got at her in the past about small things. I think she kind of like traumatized and she don't want him to be angry over nothing and she just probably don't want those bad vibes all throughout the house. Because you know how you have an argument with your girl sometimes that shit lingers on and that shit is trash. So that's how I felt like when she was just sitting there trying to explain that shit to him. And he looking like, nah, it's good. Like, no, nah, I ain't tripping. Like, and she like, no, I'm just trying to explain to you. Like, and she finna go all heartfelt and shit. She might drop a tear, you know, she'll do some shit like that. And uh and it just looked it looked bad. You feel me? It just looked bad, but I still don't think he was like that mad. But he is kind of like he's definitely shown a lot of insecurity over the over the years, over the time that I've seen him. Like a lot of uh, insecurities about her or whatever the case may be that I don't understand. So yeah, these motherfuckers gonna take this these these videos out of context because your ass is crazy, Yuri. But 
You know, just like the simple thing, like he always say, like, I don't like guys looking at my girl. I'm like, Nick. Like, that's, and, and, and that's a valid thing in their relationship, right? Especially like yeah. one that's on a YouTube. Would you, would you feel like if somebody were to make a video about you and Heather like this, when sometimes you do talk crazy on camera? Nigga, they just did that shit. Okay, hear me, on, hear me out, though, hear me. What I'm saying is, would that be a valid take when people were to be like, oh, he's like, he's like uh, verbally ab abusive and aggressive? Like how you're saying, you're looking at it from a standpoint to where like, Yuri looks insecure, right? Would, 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 would that be a crazy take if somebody were to be like, you're verbally abusive? Is that a crazy take? Yeah. Yeah, if you're not verbally abusive, though. But what I'm saying, they're going based off the internet. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying. They're taking one clip. Yeah, and one clip or like shirty clips. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, it, it is. But see, but now you have everybody else that's chiming in that actually know you and you start getting a little bit deep diving and see that this is something that he, he's, he does a lot. Feel me? So they're gonna their 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 facts are just gonna be start becoming more factual as time goes on, though. So I mean, but yeah, those small clips can you know give you like a, a, a people a different opinion on you. And it, yeah, like I said, me we didn't went viral before Hollywood Unlocked, Trey Room, all the whole little shit just off a small little clip or just TikTok too. Like yeah, um, we go viral a lot just off of those clips and people be having they fucking uh, opinions and shit mm -hmm. like that. Uh -huh. it, I would say too, like to me, that's not a good representation of Yuri. Yuri's a good guy. I know that he loves Riley. Yeah, he yeah. adores the fucking ground that she. But that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. Cause, cause, but, like, but, example, we know too. Oh, like, okay. that's when I saw Hollywood Unlocked. It was like, <laughs> no, no, what I'm saying. No, no, I know what I'm saying. And, and that's a good point of proof. Just oh, okay, go ahead. Like, when obviously we know you love the fuck out of Heather and you respect her to the utmost, and I've loved her. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy how the internet could be perceived as one thing. When it's not really that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what I, what I was continuing to say is it's, it's a situation where it's like, is that a hill you want to die on? And Yuri, I'm going to say this. I know you're watching. You got to pick your battles wisely. Like, to me, this was a stupid thing to, like, get upset about. Who cares if she tried YouTube before you? Like, it, there's, there's like, what is, the wor what is the worst thing that can happen of her doing YouTube before you? Are you looking at it more like, if you lie to me about this, you're lying to me about other things? And that's where the insecurity and all the stuff comes. Just like, is this the hill you want to die on? Because that stupid argument <clears throat> probably didn't mean nothing in the in the heat of things. But now people are blowing this situation up like it's something big. And then and now I you're going to overthink. And I know like people are going to sit there and hit up Riley and try to make it seem like she's getting mistreated mm -hmm. and everything like that. So I just don't like that narrative getting put out there. Yeah, Yuri's because, a good guy. Yeah, because when you do stuff like that, people just start uh, making up more and more mm -hmm. and more and more uh, narratives. You feel me? And then to shit the build on it, then she'll probably start thinking and like, look at this shit. Like, maybe they right. Maybe they right here. Maybe they right here. Just it started looking into your axes and shit like, damn, maybe the people are right. You feel? That's why a lot of motherfuckers tell me don't do reality TV because those narratives that they yeah. create, you feel me? And then people start having those fucking opinions then your girl or vice versa, you know what I'm saying, you will just start thinking that those things are true and it's yeah. just like, fuck. But, you know, do you want to put your, you know, do you want to uh, put your relationship out there? I'm one of the niggas that, that's willing to put my relationship out there and, and, and I don't give a fuck or whatever. The case I was just about be. to ask you that. Do you sometimes like, like, and, and not that I think, at least my personal opinion, has is a great podcaster, great conversationalist, etc. But do you sometimes feel like, Damn, why did I put her in this whole mix of like doing this whole shit with me when it comes with all the drama that it does come with? Not regret it, but are you you go like fuck, like you know she did this to support me and and you know be with me and love me and and, and maybe it's a way also building a different type of on, a, a bond and like growing and then just having a another successful business together. Do you do you something which like man? I wish she didn't do this shit with me so she wouldn't be caught up in all this extra bullshit that no. That I needed to do it and I wanted to do it just to get stronger emotionally. You feel me? Mentally, get stronger because you never know like. This is what a nigga built for. I, we could have been, we could have built, we could have been famous and like super famous in any one of these fucking little, um, little things I didn't went through in life. Any one of these paths I didn't went through in life, it's any, any, any time it could have clicked and I could have been famous. And anywhere in that, when you're that famous, everybody takes every, any little thing about you, nigga, and I'm talking about they'll tear your motherfucking ass up. Amplify that motherfucker. And you gotta be mentally prepared for that shit. And, 
a lot of people aren't. You know what I'm saying? She's a she was the girl that it wasn't prepared for that shit. She was she just was a girl on the internet, just you know, never spoke, never said nothing. It was just always content. And everything is just beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's just fans like, I love you to fucking death. It was never no, like, uh, it was never no negativity there. But I always tell her, I'm like, look at these. Like, when something happened to these people, I'm like, look at them. How they dragging them. What mm -hmm. they do. How they react. What they say. You know what I mean? Like, with her, like, you you would say something, nigga, she at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And then. She, but get, that, it's, she get that from you. Yeah, she she or whoever, you know what I'm saying? She'll just start saying some wow shit. Like, but you can still say that too, but you you can't let it um fuck up your normal life and the way you're living mm -hmm. and how you but, um but, treat motherfuckers. But that's my thing. Do you feel like I mean, obviously she does what she does, right? She was already a content creator before even the podcast said that she was already known. But do you feel like cause the way you're saying it is like you it kinda like she needed the internet to be a stronger woman when I feel like it could be vice versa. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, example, like, Lexi's not on the internet. No. Do you ever wish that she was with you? Nigga, she, but see, the thing with her is, she's mentally prepared for that more than other people. She just don't want to be on the internet like that. Mm, okay. Because shit don't bother her. She don't give a fuck what people think, bro. Like, she really, really don't. That's what they say. Until, no, her, until it actually happens. Her, she don't give a fuck, bro. But that's what they say until it actually happens. Because that's, that's, that's what I went through, too. Oh, yeah, whatever, whatever. And then when they did them thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of comments, and these niggas won't stop talking about it, then it's a week later, and they still talking about it. Then it's a week later, and niggas is still posting you on your Insta story and stuff like that. Like, like no, you know, bro. Like, people, that shit is crazy. People hit her up so much, like, diss her. Like, for her birthday, somebody's like, you clown. She's laughing. Ha 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 ha. Block. Like but people write like, but 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 but, but, but no, let's be honest. I know, that's I, know, like, I know what you to, mean to compared to something piling because, on like, and this like that. Yeah. It's that's a different story. Something I explain to people all the time. Like, example, um, the Rolling Loud shit. I saw like mm -hmm. they made a whole clip. Like I made a whole clip or whatever. And, and yeah, he said he pat you on the and back. He pat me in the back. Your whole ass nigga. What you do about it? <laughs> that's kind of that's, that's, <laughs> that's kind of what he was trying to say, right? And like I'm with all my homies in my whip. And we're, we're driving to Beyond, and they were like, like, they were just like, they were like, they're like, do you feel like, like you was a bitch at that? I was like, I don't know, dude, what are you for thinking? They're like, fool, you think we give a fuck about any podcast shit that you got going on when we've seen you in a certain, like, even like DW and, um, and Brick Baby, how like this. And I was just like looking at the shit, and I was like, what are y'all thinking? They were like, fool, you think we sit here? and watch everything that's being said about, you know how many comments and DMs we've gotten about you and the way people feel about you and shit like that? He's like, fool, we've been with you when we've been shot at, when we've done this, when we've done that. You think we think you're a bitch, fool? Bro, let me you know, but I just, but, I, but I, I was like, I was like, as my homies, what do you think, fool? And like, dead ass, like, don't, and they're like, fool, you were with Yaelene, which is beautiful young girl working her way up in the business, with a camera girl and my cameraman have nothing to do, don't even have nothing to do with this whole thing. They're like, you think we, and I was just like, I was like, I'm asking you, fool. Like, I just, it's just, even as now as prepared as we are, you, we would overthink certain shit. So, so, and then that's just something like. But let me ask you, personally, yeah. do you feel like you a bitch or you should have did something to, that, to, to him? You know in what? In your opinion. In my opinion, in my opinion, a part of me was like, maybe I should have said something, a part of me, but then the other part of me was like, I never came up here and called them all types of bitches and, and oh, I'm going to get down with you when I see you. Like, I never pop shit that, dude, do I have to like you? No. But am I going to, like, even when I, did, when I did the video when I first lived, I was kind of like, this shit not even me. Like, I deleted that shit, no cap. Because it was like, it's not even me. Like, behind the scenes, like, we all know what it is. I'm, I'm just, I'm like cool off it. Like, and, and what you guys do on your own platform, that's on you guys and yours are my boys. And, like, sometimes I'll hit T-Rail, like, Bro, you wildin'. And he'll be like, but that's just what the homie's gonna do. And I support it. But like, and and I know what it is, it's content. That's what I try to explain. Like, I know what content is, fool. Like, the fact that it was like, you know, you patted me twice and like, no, you were walking by, we happened to walk right by each other. It was like in the shoulder, and then you were with Laura and everybody else, and and you know, like, so it wasn't like it was just like me and you, you know what I'm saying? It was like a group of people walking by each other. And like I said, I'm not knocking. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care. But, Duno, let me tell you something. If you if you would have did something, bro, I would have been pissed off at you. I mean, I mean. Hold on. Let me tell you why, though, bro. 
you were you were there conducting business, bro. You were actually a part of the festival. You had a lot going on. And you got a lot that you have that you that you got going on in your life right now, bro. And you've never been the person that said, "When I see Cuz, I'm gonna get off on Cuz." Anything like that, bro. If you would have did something, bro, that would have fucked up a lot of opportunities for you, and that would have been stupid. Now, yeah. if you now if it was different, if it was like nigga T Rail Pun, nigga me, nigga certain individuals, Cuz, like then. We the niggas that sit there and say, nigga, when we see you, we gonna get off on you, get off on you, get off on you. But if, uh, if but one and, of and, us don't do nothing, and even that, and even that, right? Like the homies were like, did he ever say? And I'm like, I'm like, he he'll make little fat and like comments, or I can't see my dick comments. But has he ever spoken up about my mom, somebody that I truly love, like a woman in my life or nothing like that? Hey, if that was the case, then all that goes to 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 the side. You know what I'm saying? Like if it was something that I read truly care about like a homie resting in peace or something like that. But you calling me fat, I get that every day in my DM. So other than that, I can't be like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just ask my homies and they're like, fool, you think we give a fuck about that shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, you think we care about that shit? And I was just like, that's just how the internet works. But I just asked them as a genuine friend. I was like, hey dog, like, what do you for stick? Yeah, I know I could understand because you sitting, you chilling with your homies, you fucking with your boys. Yeah. And this is a, even though, you know, this is an enemy, even though, you don't really fuck with it, even though I know you know this is an enemy. We ain't really supposed to rock with you like that, nigga. But I, I get you because you here with us. We was there together. We all started together. So, you know, a little bit of you probably was like, you know what, nigga? That's, and, 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 and that's I a good way I look at it. I was like, you know what? I was like, I was like, I was like, damn, we all left together. And the homies were like, but every situation is different because. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, it's just, it's just the way I was looking at it, and that's just, and that's just. I, Bro, I guess, you handle, you handle shit. And, right and, and and I guess I was just me, part of like the way I gotta do to grow up. Because when it comes to other certain shit from where I grew up, from the block I love, if it was anything like that, if somebody were to speak on any of my homies, and and I've done that multiple, I got it down with a gang of fools that never talked about me, but talked about some of my best friends. You know what I'm saying? And and that's just a certain circumstance and certain things in life. What I'm saying is, does that kind of portray this a little bit? And 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 that's what I'm saying. The part bro, of me, I was like, no, bro, you're listen. It's a difference when you're conducting business versus you're just out somewhere and you're running into somebody. Yeah, yeah. Because I think, like, honestly, think like, you feel me? If you was with the homies, bro, a nigga wouldn't even feel comfortable tapping you on the back or doing anything like that. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's a, it's it's different settings, bro. Like don't block your blessings because this nigga want to be funny or yeah. it should be something. Just like the uh, the other nigga that ran in the cuz. I ain't gonna say his name. Ran in the cuz at Sky Zone. I don't think he ain't even in the shit. You feel me? I don't expect that nigga to get off on Cud. You get what I'm saying? Like, I did you expect Cud to get off on him? Um, no, no, I didn't. I didn't expect the homie to get off on it. But he did text me and ask me, should I get off on Cud right now? <laughs> and I was like, Nah, you at the birthday party? Don't even groove Cud like that. You know what I mean? Don't do him like that. You know, and I'm a, I'm I'm 20 minutes away. <laughs> You but did I'm text like, us. You did text us. Oh, that I'm shit like, came immediately. Like, the but funny. I'm like, this your daughter birthday party. Y'all have fun. Y'all do it up. And you know, I don't want everybody in there doing all that screaming and all that old shit. So <laughs> y'all stop. Y'all do it up. But I did. He did. You know, he did text me and ask me. You know, because I could choke so, her look, out look, right look, now. If you would have said, "Get off on cut," you think he would have got off immediately? Everybody body. <laughs> Dad, the kid party would have been real. <laughs> Fuck it. Kid party done. Fuck it, throw another one. <laughs> We'd have went somewhere else, and he knew I would have went somewhere else too. We'd have what Dave and Buster's. I would have made it up quick. Come on, let's go to the mall, buy some shoes. Oh, what happened? Oh, don't even worry about that. I know how to get at the kids. You feel me? Don't even worry about that I know little how shit. To get that at the happened. kids. What? I know how to erase all that shit quick. You feel me? Like let's go, let's do it up. But that's some people don't need to be in that shit and and do. So you look, know, let me ask you: that Are you at that point? You can't be in a room, okay? No, 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 hell no. Nah. Not without getting off on you. I got to get off on you. First, we got to do all the whole little shit. Then maybe, maybe have a little say something. Then I got to get off on you again. But it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it got to be something where somebody getting off on somebody. Oh, you know man. what I mean? Like, if you like, if you like in a work setting, like I was, you feel like even though like I'm though, still learning, bro. I've learned a lot, and I'm I'm I, I I've learned a lot. I bro, like there. once a nigga like honestly. But do you think? But you think your situation is different than TRL's? One hundred percent. Listen, and I'm be honest with you. Once a nigga played around with my grandma, cause oh, see that's, that's, that's like a, that's like I don't even tell nobody, bro. That's a different level of 
me looking at you a different type of way. So before that? Before even, before that, it was more like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care about the situation. But once a nigga, like, played around my granny, I'm looking at shit See, like. See, that's what I'm saying. See, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's, that's like certain things that, 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 that's why, that, that part of me was like, he ain't never, like, Tyrell, if Tyrell was working with fucking Cheerios, the cereal, and, and they happen to both be working on it, what he said, what he, what he has said, I, I would be like, you gotta go crazy. It's some, it's some lines, bro, that you like. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's, there's just some, some lines, lines that you shouldn't cross, and I feel like he crossed the line with playing with my grandma. He crossed the line with T-Rail when he came out of certain shit. But I'm not making threats online. I'm not saying nothing. I would never no, no, cause no, no, that man no, no, no. harm. That's, that's not yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, who who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Like, and, But if you was to ask us if, if a situation like that ever happened again, I wouldn't expect you to do anything. I don't, I don't think you a bitch. I don't think nothing is like that. And... Nah, cuz this ain't no podcast shit, cuz. I just want to let niggas yeah, know. Yeah, that one, I ain't never going to forget that one. I'm just trying to, you but know I'm, what I mean? But I'm, but I'm, way more, I'm way more smarter and, you know, less emotional and shit. I'm more calculated with stuff. Everybody else, whatever, man. Y'all, yeah. good, it's cool, though. It's just him. It's just Yeah, like, like oh, I wasn't mad. Like, when, when I saw the clip, I wasn't like, like, DW and Brick had their opinion, and I wasn't. Like, I, I was like, oh, they're doing what they're supposed to do. You know, they're podcasting. But you've never said, like, I, I don't think nobody can ever see that you went and said. No, no, yeah, of course. I, like I you said. You ain't never said, when I see you, I'm going to get off on you. That's what make you look pussy. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah. If, if, that, if you were, like, doing that rah-rah shit. Like, if T-Rail ran the cuz and nothing happened, niggas would be like, nigga, shut up, T-Rail. You ain't on nothing. You feel me? They going to, just knock me out. I, I'd rather <laughs> be filmy, knocked out. Like, damn, that nigga went crazy. I'm going to get on here like, man, that nigga blazed me. <laughs> Until next time. You still got off? You still got off, though. Until next time. Still got just, off? Yeah, I still got off, but that's it. You, you know what I'm saying? You blame. Yeah. Hey, look, and that's kind of, <laughs> hey, and, and that's kind of like what I told you that in the text messages that day. Yeah. Like, it's a situation where you would have to because you know he gonna go talk about it on the next week. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it ain't no, ain't no, re ain't no way you can run into a nigga, bro. And be like, all right, I'm gonna give you a pass, cuz, cuz you know, cuz Tuesday he gonna say, yeah, I seen him, ain't do nothing, bro, and it just make everything that you say invalid. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And I don't like the manipulation that is just a lot of motherfuckers up there. Just what our people do. It's just too much manipulation to where you just talking and you want motherfuckers to chime in on the conversation, almost to hop into it. But I'm not falling for it. I don't, I don't, I don't care about whatever those young men up there saying. Man, they doing their thing. And again, make sure y'all use yeah, that Yeah, it's best, it's best yeah. when we stay away from each other because at this, at this moment right now, I don't think I could be in the same room as him. Uh -uh. Nah, I, you know, no threats, no nothing. I just, I, I just prefer if he's in a building and I'm not going to be in that building. And if I'm in the building, I think it's best for him for not, to not be in that building either. Just fuck around. Yeah, fuck it, man. Who, yeah. I, we don't give a fuck. Like, but you're not going to turn me against my people, dog. I don't give a fuck what they up there talking about doing. It. Make sure y'all go to work, do y'all shit, get something out that shit. You yeah, know what I'm but, but them the homies, bro. Like Brick, yeah. Brick is a homie. Nigga DW is a homie. Like, all nigga, all my all, bro. We 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 got we homies with damn near everybody up there. Niggas ain't even tripping when it come down to that. It's just you know, like I said, certain people, certain people we could be in the room with. I know personally, I could be in the room with certain people. I can't be in the room with. That's a. But that's, you're not a bitch for doing. You're what not you a bitch for that. doing what you was supposed to do. Working all the shit, we always talk to each other. We always call each other, and I understand exactly what you was doing. You don't want to involve uh, yourself with none of that shit. And I ain't even gonna, you know, just not to put it like that. But this is some, you know, at the end of the day, too, these black niggas over here doing all this shit it might get a little crazy. I'm gonna hold another little politic over here with the homies. You feel me? But we don't want you to get in there <laughs> yeah, with that type of shit. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the comparator nigga. Just like you, what are you doing? Like. That's why niggas is calling your people, calling you a J-Cat, because it's just J-Cat shit, just <laughs> stupid. Like, why are you even in them niggas' business like that? But I want to expect you to do nothing yeah, and, like and, that. And you, you know, know what? what? That's, why, that's why I really love Icon. And we have a different relationship. Oh, Icon, solid. What I'm saying is we have a board. different relationship. Shout out to Icon. And me and Icon, he's always told me, like, and, and, he, and he's in there not technically because of me, but I did bring him around. And I never was like, oh, don't, you know what I'm saying? He's always just been like, those are your boys, fool, and I work here, and he's like, he's like, but I love what you're doing for you. And me and Icon talk every day, 
And and it I'm was I'm proud of Icon because like he like me. He's like he's like you, but he's progressed like for him to not really be in the social like to be in the media space. He went over there to no jumper and like I see him doing the thing with the food community and shit like that. And like, indicted his wife so it's very humongous. He's, he's about to do he's, he's about to do some boom. big some big interviews over in Texas with with a lot of big people. Shout out to Icon. And shout out his good wife. Guy, like, good you know, guy. And they they've always asked me too, like hmm? I'm like, I'm like, fool, you're welcome to come to anything I do. But hmm? that's like that's like that's really like my big bro. We have our relationship's a little deeper than what people know. From like the past when I first met him, when I first started coming around. And that's what he told me. He's like, fool. He's like, don't worry about that shit. Like, just vice versa, you know? Just as like... I, I wouldn't judge you for... I would never judge you. And you my nigga, though. And yeah, just, nah. and just, but, but know, to me, but to yeah. me, y'all... To me, regardless, y'all big bros. So, you know, I no, always... No, no. And like, I know you're going to rock with... You know, you're going to rock with, 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 your, with your bros anyway. But, at the, like, like I said, in that situation, bro, I feel like you are the person that's probably been the most removed out of all of us when it came down to any type of like beef or shit. like you don't care bro even when cuz said shit about you you just been like all right whatever like you're you, you yeah you're bigger than that yeah. you're you're the youngest but you're like the best of us but i know you gonna, but i know if i was doing something you're gonna get down with me that's all i know oh if if, if see that's what i'm saying that's why so that's, that's a conversation me and now, the get off it's a yeah. different story see, see that's jumping in see that's the conversation the homie said i was like well you'll be it's like it's like if you're with us food like we one of us get cracking, we all gotta get cracking, win or lose. Like I ain't gonna like, like, like the when the same shit in San Diego, I was, nice. and the homies were like, "Damn, thank God you weren't there because you were blacked out. They would have knocked your ass up." <laughs> and we were totally sober. And the homies was deep too. And but you know, just one of those things. I just you know what I'm saying. It was just one of those things. Uh, where, like, OT calling me. Hey, 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 we live right now. I got one question for you. Huh? I got a couple questions for you. <laughs> we live right now. Um, would you consider Kalen? What would you consider the genre of Kalen for real? For real, what is he to you? What's the genre? Yeah. Uh, uh, um, shit, shit. Um, it's like kind of like it's it's kind of hard to say. But what would it? It's like, huh? No, but I'm saying, okay, Ty Dolla Sign. What would you consider Ty Dolla Sign? They're like in the same shit. But what would you what would you consider them though? Like, first, would you consider them a, a rapper first or a singer first, like an R and B artist? I would I would probably consider them R and B uh, R and first. Okay. Oh, well, you know, I, I wouldn't consider them rap, rappers. I don't I don't. It's, it's tough. It's, 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 it's that's hard to call, bro. That's not. That's it's hard to call. It's hard to call. That's tough. It's, it's, it's really tough. It's, it's not like. Okay, so I, 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 don't, I don't know. No, because my argument earlier was right. I said Kendrick is a rapper. I said Drake is like a, he's a pop star now because most of his hits are like they're not rap songs. Same as like Nicki yeah, Minaj. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're like melodic joints. So would you consider Drake a rapper mostly, or would you consider him a pop star overall? Overall, overall, I would no. I would say he's a rapper, but overall, he, he's going in the pop top. How, but that. You guys got a good argument over here. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good argument because because it's like nobody's wrong. You can't be you can't be wrong either because they do they they do all. If, if, if somebody yeah. if somebody does both, it's kind of you know what I mean. If somebody's looked at as both. You can be he can be looked at as a rapper or he can be looked at as just a you know what I mean pop because of how because of how successful he's been, he's gotten. You know what I'm saying and, and what lane he in. So it's like there is no wrong answer. You know what I mean? So that's tough. It's really tough. Okay. All right. That's all. all right. I'm going to call you back in like 20 minutes, girl. All right. All right. All right. Great argument. It is It, it is From a rapper. From a rapper. It's a wobbler. It's a but problem. yeah. But other than that, all that is shit, like, you feel me? Like, I just. But bro, that's what, that's what, but no. Back to what we were saying, though, bro. Like, you have never, you've been far removed, bro. And he hasn't crossed a line with you to make, to me, to make you feel like, you should be in that shit. Yeah. Like T T Rail, the line has been crossed. A D at this point, the line has been crossed. It's certain shit. And instead of, you know what I'm saying, going back and forth and saying shit on there, I just say, because look, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't go to Rolling Loud Friday. Why? Because you say, hey, I see him walking around here and trying to play around with you. I'm like, I'm not mentally I'm not strong enough to be able to sit there and deal with that shit without making a fool of myself. So it's best. I don't go to Rolling Loud on Friday. 
I went Sunday, I seen Flacco, I went to the Loud Club, I did my shit, I kept shit pushing. You feel me? Because, like, I'm like, nah, because you play, play with Granny, play anything like that, I don't give a fuck where we at. It's, 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 it's would, not cool. But well then, would you be mad at, like, the argument where people were to be like, but if you knew he was there, why didn't you go? What you mean? Like, even though he played with your grandma. Nah, bro, because I'm not hunting for him. If I, if I was hunting for him, I know where he live at. You feel me? It's yeah. not that it's not that serious to me to where I, I feel like I gotta uh incriminate myself or yeah, no, no, put, no. put myself, you know what I'm saying? Put myself in a situation where I'm getting sued or charges getting pressed on me or anything like that. Like I'm not I don't have a uh, I don't have like hate or an active problem with cuz enough to sit there to have a to put myself in that. Saying. I get what you're saying. But yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. hundred percent. Yeah, but, but like that's what I'm saying. If it was if I was that mad. I know where he lives at. You get what I'm saying? Front door, front gate. Front right. door, front gate. Whatever the fuck <laughs> that tall. is, bro. Like whatever. <laughs> it's not. It's not at that point with me. Bro, tear up. It's not at that point with me. It's not at that bro, point with me. Stupid, you know what bro. I'm saying? But it's it's like you know. I if a nigga, if a nigga I, feel comfortable enough with patting you on the back, like you feel me? If a nigga pat me on my back, bro, you trying to like play around with a nigga, bro, like. Now you're like you're 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 breaking guidelines and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? And then too, like I care about my career and I care about business to where, nigga, if I know that it may be a situation that I'm gonna like know myself, then it's best that I don't go. And that's cool. Yeah, like you said, if it was if it was that crazy, like yeah, I just show up front door. Yeah, you know if, it was, if it was that. And that's, we just going to keep it at when I right see now, you. Right now, right now. I see you, whatever. You right know now, what it's that podcast shit. Nigga, say what you say, what you say. I'm laughing about it. Yeah. I'm not taking shit serious. It's a difference if a nigga think he's going to be able to come over here and, hey, how you doing? It's, <laughs> it's, you feel me? Like, don't touch me, girl. Like, it's like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that's good. Right now, we just having fun. Yeah, we having fun. I mean? we just right having now, fun. stay where you at. We going to stay where we at. It's, it's cool. Having fun. With because stuff. there's been plenty of times Niggas be, hey, he in here right now. You want me to do something? I'm like, no, nigga. You're not even in this. You're stupid. Oh, he here right now. Oh, I could be I could be here in five minutes. Nigga, I'm not actively trying to do nothing to this nigga, bro. I'm just telling cuz, hey, bro, you do your thing, we doing our thing. It is what it is, bro. You feel me? <laughs> we ain't tripping. Yeah. Yeah, but like playing around, doing all the extra shit, nah, that's out. Don't touch me on the back. Don't do that. Well, we fuck with my nigga doing those, so don't even worry about it. I would never judge you. I wouldn't do any no, of those you things. No, you had it the right I way. I wouldn't give a fuck about none of that shit. Well, who gives a fuck? And I'm just loving battling some motherfucker that got four uh, million subscribers and still, like, keeping up with me. Like, what are you doing? Like, keeping up with us. So it's just funny that you would try but to... But that's what makes it you know fun I mean? because... It's funny. The, the, the competition way of it is making this shit funny and making this shit fun for us. That I can say, because it's like, all right, cool. Like, yeah, come follow me. Come subscribe. Come subscribe to all of our channels. Like, nigga, we are fucking, we are fucking you thorn in your side. Like, you hate it. Like, oh, we are thorn in that man's side for, sure, for no for sure. reason. You feel me? It's for no reason, but it's it's all good. But yeah, my nigga Duno, don't never do that. You feel me? All of my peoples, for sure. Yeah, Flacco, you Flacco, there he owns that channel. Flacco is the homie, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know hey, what I'm saying? Big Look. shout out to Prize Picks, man. Shout out to Prize Picks. <laughs> the link dog. in the chat to use code FMW and get 100% deposit match for up to $100 for all first time depositors. Chat, let us know what your picks are you got. Use code FMW and get your 100% deposit match for up to $100 for all time first time depositors, man. Shout out to Big Shout out to Prize Picks. Yeah, you know what I'm man. saying? And also, big shout out to Minimal. You feel me? Shout out to Minimal. They have new drops every week, and you can use our code to get the 20% off. Summer's around Minimal. the corner. And your wardrobe definitely needs an update. They have pieces that you can't get anywhere else that won't break your bank account. Tap in and use our code <laughs> FIT20 for 20% off of your order. Big shout out to Minimal, too, man. For uh, they, they they looked out and sponsored me a house phone show. Uh, hopefully, we can get that shit to y'all next week. I'm going to try to. If not... Yeah, oh, we shout got out Minimal. There was a sponsor for um, the On The Radar freestyles and shit. Shout out to On The Radar. Yeah. Hey, shout out to On The Radar, too. I'm sorry bro. I couldn't make it. I'm going to fly to New York. I'm going to make it up. Yeah, and yeah. I'm going to do that shit. Yeah, shout out to Gabe. Shout out to Gabe. Shout out to Gabe, man. Yeah, he came and did Back On Fig with us, too. Uh, a lot of people didn't know who the fuck he was, but you know. We Y'all motherfuckers sleeping on a man that's creating a whole new culture. Not, it's not totally whole new, but the way he's going about it, yeah. he, he had a trick on there. That's all I got to say. 
Yeah, I was like, who is this? What is that? Who is this? He's talking. It's boring. Like, damn. Like, hold on. Like, you know, what it's I mean? a very successful man there, and what he has created, and he has supported underground rappers and gave him a platform. How, no matter how big or small, he finna have you on, show you love, and if they go stupid. Um, before we get out of here, we do got to touch on one subject. It is oh, the biggest subject the biggest. of them all. You know what I'm saying? The, the Diddy. biggest. My boy Diddy. I mean, he's been going through a lot. Diddy has sold um, his shares in Revolt. You know, and not only in him sharing uh, his fucking shares in Revolt, his uh, he took a plane and got the fuck up out of here. They done raided all four of his houses or three of his houses. I think it was in Miami, New York, L.A. So three of his houses. His son, his kids was being handcuffed and shit put in the yard. Even when he took his jet over, when he was uh, he was stopped. Um, you know what I'm saying Before he got on his jet And they was um, Speaking to him Before he got on his jet I think academics Posted that shit And they was questioning him Before he got on his jet The feds But uh, yeah He's going through He's going through a lot A lot of people saying You know Once it's a fed case Once the feds get on your ass You done for the night They got a 98% uh, Conviction rate Which is scary as fuck um, But still I think his lawyer Put out something Saying you know They were just You know Overly doing it with army trucks and you know FBI and uh, police cars and helicopters and military tactics to go into his house for just some allegations because he you know he doesn't really have no well I think he does have people that's coming forth in uh, lawsuits but you still it's still allegations you still got to prove it and for them to be doing that I think it's kind of crazy but you know it's the feds. I don't know if my boy did it or he did not, though, but I, I don't wish bad on him. I don't wish no crazy shit on him because um, I was also listening to somebody say, you know, you could be on top of the world. People love you to death. But as soon as something happened to you, everybody clowning you, mm -hmm. everybody, you know, talking shit behind your back, um, just wishing bad on you. A lot of motherfuckers didn't want your spot before, you know. Diddy then pioneered a lot of motherfucking shit out here as a black entrepreneur. But, you know, shit is happening to him. But I'm looking at the motherfuckers closest to him, you know, like Mace. It's funny when Mace is talking. Who's Paul? Uh, oh, yeah. what? A legs drug mule. A legs uh, a legs, a legs drug mule. My boy Paul, he gets, he was for the for the board the damn plane, and he got caught with a uh, cocaine and some a little oh, bit of shit. weed, and then they took his ass down. He's the only one so far that's been arrested, but they let him did go. Did you see though, what uh, Candace Owens said? Day. But what did the Candace what did Candace Owens Candace say? Owens tweeted that basically she said that the feds went in there to hide evidence. They said for for some higher up people. She said she she feels Diddy is the is the fall guy for uh, a bigger operation that's going on right now. Yeah, that's what I said too. I said once that's kind of what I be saying. I said on back, which on is crazy. Though. I said once you once you tell these motherfuckers no, or when they ask you to do some shit and you didn't hop and jump and do it, and you feel like you the nigga and you above them, they on your ass. And especially I think uh, with um, I think with uh, hold on. Hold on, but I think uh, especially when I damn I forgot that the fuck I was gonna say, dog. This motherfucker over here laughing. Hold on, dog. What the fuck was I finna say, man? What the fuck I was saying? I don't even know what the fuck I was well, saying. Cause this dumbass in the back he laughing. He pulled up. They're accusing Young Miami of bringing pink cocaine to Diddy, which is a uh, Tusi. Tusi. Yeah. Yeah, we gonna leave uh, Young Miami out of it though. But she she a young girl that's not giving a fuck, and she keep getting put in it. And the motherfucker's like, I don't give a fuck. What you know they're going to do anyway? Because yeah. I, I seen a tweet. She was like, something like this summer going to be dope or something. They was like, are you not watching the news right now? Just look outside. Yeah, like look outside or something. That shit's stupid. People, that's one thing about our people, though, bro. Like, they, we're, 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 we won't, we're very short to give you your praise. But when you do something in that public eye or you fuck up, we're, Try to bash your back in as much as possible. Oh yeah, I That's was gonna say up. I was gonna say that shit about Mace because Mace is the closest to him, and Mace just you know him and Cameron been laughing. Cameron asked him how he was feeling, and he was just like, "Man, yeah, everything is falling into place. Everything is going according uh, to plan." You feel me? I'm That's glad different I, though. I, I'm glad I got out of that shit. Y'all see what you see? It's it's different though when somebody like owns your masters and. You feel me? Y'all got bad business between each other, and it's a little, it's a little different. Like so it's Mace, a little, it's a little rocky. I mean, listen, 
That's like right now, bro. If I own your masters, because remember Mace tried to buy his masters back. He said Puff wouldn't give it to him. Like it's been a battle, bro. And he even said he said he had to go gospel basically to get a, get the fuck away. He had to leave the music industry for a long period of time and shit like that. Like he's been a firm uh, person that's been against Diddy since the early days and shit like that. So for him for this to be happening right now, yeah, of course he's gonna feel like yeah, so he he getting some just do. I mean, I think it's a lot of people too. If this shit is real, it's a lot of motherfuckers that's behind the scenes. That's probably scared as a motherfucker. The fucked up part is his kids going through it. Yeah. Like, like, his kids, like, they look like, it kind of damn near, it's, it's kind of like being shut on them because they live there and then motherfuckers being like, you know what I'm just saying? Yeah, I mean, if they was a running here right now, they're going to arrest everybody by default. Yeah. That's just what it is. Yeah, they, they they on your ass, though. I mean, they didn't make no arrests. All they could do is question you. Hey, where you finna go, bro? Shit. I'm leaving, nigga. Fuck you mean? You got you got anything? You got a warrant? No? Get the fuck up out the way. That's It just, everything just make it kind of seem like he kind of guilty a little bit, but shit. Hey, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I hope that nigga didn't, you know, he didn't do none of that shit. I hope he get away. I hope they is kind of, you know, trying to tarnish your name. But them higher ups will get your ass, nigga. I was saying though, that's the, I think I was saying that too. Like, and shit like that make you think that like the whole Illuminati shit, shit like that, real, huh? Yes, we'll see. That's what I. I think. I think where it started from was was with Cassie. You know what I mean, when they was probably was like, look, check this out, dude. We trying to get at you. Pay us the money. Are we gonna we gonna we gonna put you out there? He probably was like, bitch, put me out there. Whatever. Ain't nobody gonna believe you. And it kept going on. He didn't answer it, just like a black motherfucker do. And then there it go. And then boom, once once she once he gave her that check so fast and he settled out, nigga, for the whatever million, niggas was like, Oh, it was we that on songwriter. Your ass. That songwriter too. We he on said your that's ass. what this this whole thing was over as a songwriter. The songwriter. Uh huh. We on your ass. Oh, you gave her that money. Oh, oh yeah, you you really did. Let's start investigating. Then you guys, everybody just coming in and you know telling their side of the story and just going crazy though, dog. That shit is wild though. But hey, man, you know I hope y'all niggas that was at them fucking parties and did something. I hope y'all niggas at that island too, nigga. Get y'all asses on. I seen, I seen. Um, for you guys, another rapper, Lecrae. Lecrae. Mm-hmm. I seen, I seen that. He said that he made a TikTok about like one of his rapper homies, like a big famous one, was like, "Hey, Lecrae, you should leave." Like at one a.m., he was like, "What at the parties?" He's like, "Bro, just because I'm like I do gospel music, rap, like I'm not scared." And he's like, "No, you should leave at one a.m." Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Why?" He's like, "Just leave at one a.m." I'm not saying you're scared or nothing, but just leave at one a.m. <laughs> that nigga Luke, they asked no, that nigga funny. Luke. They asked that nigga Luke, was he at the party? Who like, Luke? yeah, I was. I was there. And did y'all see the Freedom documentary? And that nigga said, shit, I just left early. Who? The Freedom documentary is dope. Who's name Luke, nigga? You don't know Luke? Uncle Luke? This nigga, he don't know Luke, but he young. It's okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He don't hip hop. It's okay. You Watch don't know the Freedom documentary, bro. You'll you like that. Man, man, the crazy shit, there's a gang of sex, crazy, wild shit going on. Like the shit with fucking um, the Quiet On Set shit with Dan Snyder. Woo! I'm getting a little bit more in tune with that shit too. That shit is freaky, deaky. Pause. It is crazy. Then I seen the Nickelodeon sign, a little looking like the boy Island. I said, "Oh my god!" That was a reach, a reach, but it's really the foot shit. Oh man, the foot shit is crazy though too. But the, just putting all type of shit together, it make you believe anything. I mean, no, it's not about believing anything. Is that these niggas is not getting away with this shit no more, bro? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that, that Drake that Bell shit, shit that, that shit, shit was... That shit's sad, bro. That's fucked up. And y'all know more kids go through that. Yeah, bro. It's, it's a result, bro. Look how Amanda Bynes is fucked. All them child actors, bro. Look at Orlando Brown, bro. Look at Amanda Bynes, Somebody bro. said this makes Orlando Brown, the shit that he be saying, seems kind of real and true. We all, we actually know what the fuck this thing is. They subjected little kids, bro. To sexual acts and different things that they shouldn't even been worrying about. Back That's then, some bro. wild shit. The Ariana up. Grande shit. Obviously, I'm younger than them as the show, so I thought Ariana Grande was just like hot and pretty, right? But as as a standpoint, when I'm looking at it from when a grown man is writing this for somebody my age at the time, you and now that I'm an adult, I'm like, oh, that's oh. crazy. I'm like, hey, bro, what the that Amanda shit. I've never, I mean, I'm pretty sure it probably happened behind the scenes, right? But for a writer and a creator to sit in the hot tub 
with a child star just fucking just like. And you know why? They felt like they could get that shit off because they was untouchable for so long. R. Kelly, untouchable for so Nigga, when the R. Kelly tape came out, bro, nigga, I was super young. But people like, nigga, that really was him. Because for that shit to be out there and a the nigga don't even get in trouble back then, bro. That was the, the age of just a number shit? No. What what year did the R. Kelly sex tape come out? I said it was like 96 or some shit. It yeah, was, nigga, like, but bro, they was selling that motherfucker, bro. Like, on every corner. On corners, bro. Bootlegs, nigga. Everybody was like, that's R. Kelly. They knew it was R. Kelly because he still beat that shit, bro. So 2002, it was a different time. I said 96. Damn, you was two years Hold old, on. bro. Hold on. That was the report, or that's when the tape came out? That's when, that's when the report came out. Wait, a tape came out of him actually fucking a minor? Yeah. And peeing and on peeing it. Peeing on her. Yes, it's back. And they were selling that shit in the hoods, bro, on the streets. Like, everybody had the R. Kelly and, tape, bro. And people were okay with it. Nigga, it was, they didn't give a fuck back then. Yeah, they Bro, it was common for, for grown-ass men to come to our high school back then, bro. 25-year-old, 26-year-olds, and fuck with ninth and 10th graders, bro. That was normal back then, bro. Oh, God. That shit was normal during my sixth time. It shouldn't be That's normal. Crazy. It's never should have been normal. Man, when I was... I mean, I'm not saying normal, but it was common, like... You fuck with a bitch, her nigga, 25. Bro, you know how bad it is, bro? Like, you like a girl in your class, nigga, <laughs> and she got a nigga picking, picking her up with a car? Can't compete. You can't compete with that. You a little broke-ass little nigga, bro. What about Just, the super seniors? Oh, them niggas should be in jail now. Super seniors is wild. I hate <laughs> That shit is wild. Fucking freshman. Nineteen are walking around like they know the whole school. Call teachers by first name. That's wild. Oh yeah, that's wild. But anyway, you know what I mean. That Diddy shit is wild. Shame on you niggas out here. Man, does that shit make you think the the, the, the that the shit Ryan was saying is not as crazy? Who? Ryan Garcia. Man, fuck mm. all that. <laughs> Yeah, Ryan Garcia, he was saying some wild shit too. Ain't none of this. Shit, I, I I put none of this shit past nobody. Now this shit is wild. This shit is wild. Like niggas is out here crazy. Niggas niggas live on this shit calling niggas kids sexy. This is wild. That shit is weird. It's wild out here, dog. Like, dog. No, it's really wild. Dog. Like what, what are we talking about? That's all we playing. Man, get the fuck out of here. We ending that on this. You gotta get the fuck up out of here, man. Yeah. Big community world, man. You feel me? Shame on you. Me, A D and Duno, you feel me? Like old times. Don't don't worry about nothing. Uh we don't have no idea where pun is. We don't have our no idea where smack is. But that's okay, man. We holding it down in here. Uh come see us next week. Um, four o'clock, four PM. And yeah, man, we're gonna be doing it, man. Make sure you watch back on Fig every Monday and Friday at four PM. Do know what you got going. Um, four vlogs or whatever I'm doing a week. Man, just go to Duno's World. Whatever I'm dropping, go watch that motherfucker. Yeah, for real. And then community, you do community Mondays. Mondays, Thursdays. Mondays and Thursdays. Monday hey, and boys, Thursdays. worldwide on Fridays. Uh, I know we missed the news uh, uh last week, a couple things, but we got a we we we, we transitioning a couple things real quick. A lot quick. of shit transitioning. Um, so yeah, just a lot of shows that. coming. Yeah, we transitioning a couple things real quick. We'll be right back on that, so don't worry about yeah. nothing. But yeah, we up out of here, man. We gone. Pop.